I think the whole statement that I'm not a person of the people is getting a little bit worse. Yeah. I uh, bet. I bet the four hundred dollar shirt you just bought didn't help that. See, the the bad part is that's not even what I'm talking about. That's okay. For for context, uh, Nick was just in Japan. Hello, I'm back. Hi guys. I know our audio last week was awful. Apologies about that. But I don't know about our audio. I okay. It's not my fault. We decided to you know record your face cam and your face cam alone. I don't know if that would have helped the audio or anything, but I could have brought a, I could have brought a microphone. I decided, hey, I'll bring a laugh. Didn't work. Regardless. There was a, a designer shop. It's either called Loe or Lovi. Uh, according to Dorothy, love? No, no, <laughs> no, not love. No, no. it's it's L O E W E. But it's a French brand. But the name is German, so the W is pronounced as a V. So okay. it's Loe Lo Lov Loe V. I I don't know. All, listen, all I know. If it's French, I bet most of those consonants are silent. Lo it's probably just. Uh, Louvre. It's the Louvre. It's, yeah, it's the Louvre. Louvre. You went to the Louvre. I went a shirt. to the Louvre. That yes. makes sense now. They had cool merch. Yeah. I decided to go. So they did. So Louis V uh, is doing a collaboration with Howl's Moving Castle, which if you're watching, you'll know Calcifer was my first anime tattoo. Um, and I had to go in naturally. And there was a lot of really cool things. There was a sweater that was ten thousand uh, dollars. There was four thousand dollar pants. It was like it, the sweater was sick though. Like. Was it worth $10,000? Maybe not. Maybe it was, it was like the whole Howl's Castle like stitched onto a sweater. And I was like, that is sick. And then I was like, probably not going to spend $10,000 on a sweatshirt. But there is a little calcifer pocket tee. I like how you say probably not going to spend ten grand on a sweatshirt. I had to get through with you Valentine's Day present. So I wasn't like, that was, you know. Really, really just like spearheading this campaign that you are a man of the people. I here. am part of the proletariat, uh -huh. okay? I am I am in the trenches. So I had to get Dorothy a present, so I was like, oh, let's let's minimize the spending on Nick here. So they have a little calcifer pocket tee. So like it's like you can see him kind of poking out of a pocket, you pull it down, he's got uh -huh. his like little face in there. Adorable. They tell me how much it is, five hundred dollars. I was like, you know what? Worth it. Piece so of much. history. So much. A hundred more dollars than the last time you mentioned this shirt, too. I, it's like 460. I'm rounding uh, up. I, I, listen, I wanted to tell you a lower figure because you, you judged me. Only only a man not of the people would round 460 down to 400. I don't listen. I'm trying to. <laughs> That's us. a while. I'm trying to do an us thing yeah, here. Uh -huh. yeah, I want oh, us yeah. to be together in this. So not even what I'm talking about though. Unfortunately. Uh, because I just got sent a um a love sack. Oh. Um a, a Magic the Gathering is doing a 30th year anniversary. It's been 30 years of pain for the Magic the Gathering community. Uh and so Magic the Gathering they're literally collaborating with everyone. And like literally it's the third I think it's the third MTG 30 thing I've done this year. Yeah. The last thing they did trolley gummy worms. I haven't been reached out to. Don't like, don't hit me with the like. They're collaborating with anyone. No, 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 no. I'm talking anyone who's anybody's brands. getting a collab Listen, let's not for act magic. Like either of us are brands. There was a Demon Slayer premiere in this city. We didn't get invited to. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But they send me, and I'm like, oh, they're like, please make a TikTok about the MTG30 collaboration. We'd love to like hear what you have to say about it. So I'm making a funny little TikTok. I'm like, I'm like fluffing it up. I'm kicking it. Like, it's like, this is bonding time. You have to spend bonding time with your, your love sack. So I'm kicking it. I'm like, do you like Sasuke? Like, what, is, real, what is a love sack? Uh, great. Don't just assume everyone. Also, is this an ad? <laughs> no. So I, no, it's a story is what it is. There's a uh, lot of information. If we're going to be real, left out here. If we're going to be entirely real, this is, I'm, I'm not going to give the most, the best review of love sack in this. So I wouldn't oh, use boy. it as an ad either. Um, so I'm making a cute little TikTok as I do. Uh, and I get, I get to post in it and I'm like, oh, like, haha, you know, like love sack, you know, like I got, they sent me this one. You guys can get it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, comments start rushing in. Be like, oh, this is cool. Except I don't have a thousand dollars. That'll happen. And they don't tell me how much these things cost when they send them to me. Yeah. One thousand dollars for a bean bag? That is wild. For context, currently, um, Dorothy, the love of my life, bought a um, a bean bag a couple months ago, and she was like, "I'm gonna put it in my office. It'd be like a fun little place for me to sit and enjoy myself." I'm like, "Go off, babe." She's like, "And Neutron, our dog, our pitbull, will not be sleeping on it." And I was like, "Of course, why would he? You know, mm -hmm. that's that's your bean bag." Right. Um, me next day, yeah. his bed. Put it next to our bed. Now it's like he's got a massive bean bag. He sleeps in every single night. But that thing's white. It's it's soft. It's cute and all of that. So I'm like, "All right." 
I got this one. We'll just replace Dorothy's one because she likes it with this magic the car gathering love sack and put it next to the bed. Then uh, these TikToks are flooding in. My dog has a one thousand yeah. dollar yeah. bed. One thousand. That's not only are you not a that's man more of money the people. Than I've ever spent on a bed. Not only are you not a man of the people. Your dog isn't even like raking in minimum wage. Your so dog. Technically, my dog is a sir. Your dog just got a $1,000 photo shoot also. Uh, and the photos came out incredible. I'm going to send stank <laughs> some of them right now. We're going to B-roll them in right now. Yeah. Let us know in the comments how if, if that's if that's a photo that you'd spend $1,000 on. Well, the, first off, the $1,000 was not for the photo shoot. That was $400. Okay. Then there was around $700 of us getting big old prints made of right. me, my lovely girlfriend, Dorothy, and Neutron. And it was an anniversary present, Daniel, all right? I'm trying to show saying. my love. I'm just saying, you came in so hot with the cold open of like, you know what? I am a man of the people I'm, here. No, I'm, I'm acknowledging <laughs> I've taken a step away from the proletariat and I'm trying to yeah. get back to my ways. Gotcha. You, so, yeah, we'll do a Touch and Grass episode where we're both like working Burger King I for would like a look, week. Listen, I, 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 ground, I ground, grinded, I grinded. I, I don't grinded. believe you. The I more, the more managed, times you attempt to say the word. I managed a zoomies at 19 years old and then everyone above me quit. Wow, you've suffered. I, you, listen, don't look <laughs> you, at me. You've you, crawled your you, way from the muck. Do you know how hard it is <laughs> to like, just like shuffle in stoned 17 year olds and being like, oh bro, you like this t-shirt? <laughs> and they're like, Oh, dude, I do, but my mom doesn't have, my mom's got the credit card. And it's just my like, you have to upsell a 17 year old on a skateboard they absolutely don't need while your manager's breathing down your neck being like, why haven't you said hello to everybody in the store yet? <laughs> it is hell. Not concrete mixing at 4 a.m. hell, but not fun anyways. So as I was saying, the love sack itself, only $600. Okay. The, the Magic the Gathering skin is $400. $400. Wow. For a wow. for a cover. Well, for personally, a, also, what were they thinking? Calling it love sack? I'm so, that's weird. Like, oh yeah, just come on, sit down. I'm a big <laughs> love sack. Well, personally, as an avid Magic the Gathering fan, I mm. think it's a great idea and a very reasonable price, Love Sack, if you are listening to yeah. this podcast. And also, if the people who sponsor Danny with their portable uh, what, I knew, projectors... I knew this was coming. Yeah, I'll also, I'll take <laughs> one as well. By the way, cold opening is now over. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Talkers Anonymous. I am back in studio. I'm going to be here for the foreseeable future. I'm not going anywhere until at least April. Uh, and so this is going to be us for at least the next two months. And then even then we'll probably record before I go to that music festival and we'll all be fine. I'm Nick, also known as NC Hammer 23, back from Tokyo. Got a lot of cool and new information I got to tell you guys about on that trip. And you, Daniel. Our Daniel. Yes. That's me. Um, I did a, oh, I went to the Ant-Man premiere, uh, Ant-Man Quantumania. I have a horribly embarrassing story that will haunt me for the rest Did of my life. Did you drive life. directly into traffic? No. And you're like, Jose, come on, let's go. Somehow worse. Oh. Genuinely somehow worse. Mm. Um, but yes, our friend uh, Jose. Was this before or during the premiere? After at the premiere after the film. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's your first premiere. Not. Binky's first premiere. You'll hear hear me out. Okay. Do you oh, want to talk about it now? I. Oh, I have some. We have, we have some some things we need to take care of first. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Bandai Namco and not and, Love Sack and not Love Sack. <laughs> uh, Bandai Namco and Mega House. Uh, they just hooked us up with a bunch of really cool statues. One of Yamato, one of Kakashi. Uh, we got one of Akaza. So really cool stuff. Uh, some of the highest quality statues in the game from Bandai and Mega House. More collaborations coming down the pipe. Uh, Portrait of Pirates is my personal favorite. Uh, I got Yamato here. I've saw. Um, I oh god, Sanji? Nope. I, is this not Sanji? No, it's I'm not Sanji. It. This is embarrassing. It's like fire. Sabo. It's fire Sabo. Sanji. It's, it's been a while since Marine Ford. He played a very minor role. So yeah, Portrait of Pirates, a bunch of other things. Mega House, uh, one of the best places for you to collect collectibles, uh, especially in the anime space. So go ahead and check them out today. Also, uh, if you guys are loving the podcast and you want to see it in more bite-sized little fragments, go ahead and head over to Utaku's Anonymous Highlights page. Uh, where we posted it in 10 minute or so more edited clips. So if you guys want to watch that, then go ahead and do it to your story. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> so you texted me about this and I was like, don't even 
don't tell me. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. save it for the pod. Yeah. And I didn't want to. I've and I don't want to. So excited. So I get invited to this premiere uh, by our very sweet friend Jose. Yes. Because you couldn't go. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> hey, don't. I, sure. But yeah. Like, I was Jose's second option next to um, Nick. However, so he does. Beats uh, the third option. He does. Exactly. Yeah. He does uh, Marvel content. Huge Marvel TikToker. Like yep. a million followers on TikTok. Mm. Tons and tons on Instagram. Yep. Working his way to YouTube stuff. Um, it's, I think I mentioned I'm Tropical Joe, right? I'm Tropical Joe on, yeah. or, uh, on like everything. And then there's Tropical Joe, Joe Gaming. gaming and <laughs> he's got a bunch. He's expanding and a ton. then he's, yeah. So you may see him in, uh, new V ads, which was. He replaced Maria Menounos I for saw, a little bit. People I, were very upset. I, I was upset, but that was more because I was like, that son of a bitch. I know him. I want to be in a new V ad. I, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Also do love me some Maria Menounos though. So yeah, I feel like I can, I, I can understand the pain being real quick side tangent. Being in a new V ad. Is it a side tangent if we didn't even begin the story we were trying to start? <laughs> quick, quick, uh, prologue <laughs> yeah, to yeah, my yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think my like dream revenge goal is to be in a new V ad. Revenge against who? Marie Menudos? Being in a new V ad uh -huh. would be the biggest power play to every ex-girlfriend I've ever had. <laughs> Cause like you Just were like sitting in the movies. ruining every ex's movie experience. You were sitting in the movies and they're like, you'll never be up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, like, you're not fucking Maria. And you're like, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, exactly. Every girlfriend I've had, I bring her to the movie. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for uh, Batman V Superman, Dawn of Justice here. And uh, my Ma favorite movie. Yeah. And Maria shows up and she leans over and she's like, that'll never be you. You could fuck. never. You ever be at, Maria. Look at that. Look at that posture. That would be wild. Yeah. Imagine, imagine your ex brings, and I have like no ill will to any of my exes, mm -hmm. but it's just, I'm I just do. that petty. Yeah. Like imagine your ex is on a first date and fucking I show up and I'm like, download the new V app to get your Coke delivered straight to you. How many fucking ads are we going to do this week? <laughs> do we need to, I'm, <laughs> True. <laughs> Joke's on you. This entire episode is just yeah. us name dropping brands or trying to get sponsored. It's just the commercial break between two episodes of Trash Taste. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> There's been a yeah. skip button on the bottom <laughs> yeah. of your screen this entire goddamn time. All um, right. So into your story so, about being embarrassing. Yeah, I get invited to this Ant-Man premiere. It's very cool. I'm like wallflowering a little bit. Was um, it Juju Screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's... um. Uh, Straw Hat Goofy's yeah. screener, him and Jay Stubes, also huge Marvel TikTok people. Yes. Um, and it's just like all a bunch of different like content creators. Mm -hmm. They're all meeting and it's wild because I feel like I've like fallen into my For You page. It is weird the first it's, time. It's yeah. very crazy seeing everybody you've ever like followed on TikTok yeah. show up there. And like I said, like I'm wallflowering a little, like I'm like, oh, like. Well, there's free food drinks, Why? Right? Like that's, hey, listen, I'm, I'm not even judging you. First uh -huh. thing I do is I say hi to like the three people I know the best, go yeah. grab food, drinks, and I'm like, all right. And then I go talk to people like five minutes before the movie starts. Well, I'm also, in terms of TikTok, I am very much not a face. So I don't get recognized until I get to like my like, who knew Zuko was this sexy? Like yeah. that fucking voice, unless something like goads that out of me. Then I get people being like, oh my, what was that? Is that fucking is that, Demon? Is that, is yeah. that D-Mod 3? Also, I just did the most like annoying version of my voice ever. I don't even it's sound funny like that. Because like we could just be like, yeah. we could just talk like this, but yeah. we always, always bring yeah. ourselves up to our worst YouTuber voice. Yeah. But like, so I'm there and like, you know, I'm waiting, like Jose is being very nice and introducing me to people yeah. and they'll be like, oh, I do know you. And that's very cool. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going on. I meet a lot of really cool people, a lot of great like cosplayers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Movie happens. How was it? Bad. Yeah. Really, see, that, okay. See, because there's, there's diversion. People are talking, some people are saying not good. Some yeah. people are saying it's fun. I think I'm, I haven't seen it yet because uh, genuinely don't give a shit. Um, I'll probably, me and Dorothy will see it uh, at some point. Uh, I think I'll probably be further on the fun side because I could give a shit about yeah. Marvel's MCU <laughs> season five where we're all, there's a mania of multiverses and I just, I don't give a shit. I just never, I, I stopped giving a shit no, no, years the, ago. The mania is quantum. The multiverse is, is madness. madness. Yeah, yeah, that's what not, it is. Nick, please. There's uh, not a so mania of Why was madness. it bad? Um, so I, to be fair, 
I'm also like not a big Marvel fan. So anyone who's like, I can't wait. Adults making one liners. I I can't wait to see your review. Like people have been like, I can't wait to hear what you thought of Ant-Man. And I'm like, you so can. Yeah. You (laughs) don't want to. There's a million other people saying it. Like it's a saturated market. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I like, it was pretty bad, but at this point, like Thor love and thunder hated like I was like insulted that that was put in front of me. It was I also I that ironically went to Straw Hat Screener for that. Pretty much any Marvel movie I see, I go to Straw Hat Screener, and then yeah. I'm like, that's the last time I need to see that. Yeah, go to Japan more often because I I want to go. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or we can just get Jose two plus ones. Uh, I have Straw Hat's number, and I'm like, hey, you can invite me to things, and he's like, <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking do that. And I was like, ah, I thought we were close. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was like fine. I mean, like I said, like Thor: Love and Thunder really infuriated me. Spider-Man, I made, like, Spider-Man No Way Home, I think. I made, like, two videos about how that infuriated me. Is that the last one? Yeah, whatever the recent one was. So I'm, like, already not in Marvel's best graces. And now they're throwing Ant-Man 3 at me. And so I'm, like, there's no expectations here. How did we get to 3 with Ant-Man? I just, there's... so to be, I guess was Paul Rudd that like like everyone was like, oh my god, Paul Rudd. Like, give me three fucking movies of Paul. Yeah. Like, I just how did it's, we get this deep? It's very like to be, I guess, more specific and give like a literal review with no spoilers. It's like just such a pit stop of a movie. Mm. Like, and I'm not. A lot of people are like, oh, this movie sucks because it doesn't really like add a ton of like. New, some people say it doesn't add enough. Some people say it adds too See, much. See, that's what I've seen. People are yeah. like, it didn't add enough to like set up stage five. People were being like, it was trying to do too much to set up stage five. I'm like, how it, how can there be? There, were you watching different movies? The reason for that is because it sets up Kang, which is like the new Thanos. Did he go up his butt? No. God. I know, I just know. And he almost died. And the whole time, you're like, go in his ass. Go my dude. in his ass. Yeah, just be betwixt thine cheeks. It's so easy. <laughs> um, but so... It like I think the problem that people are having is that it does it almost exclusively exists to set up the new phase. But since it doesn't do anything did we just, else, is, 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 are we done with season four? Is that yeah? Season four just ended. When did that start? I don't know. Was it, it was Black so, Widow? Yeah, it was such a nothing season. No one liked. Has what was the last good Marvel movie? Shang Chi. Infinity War. I'd say. Infinity War goes really hard, like just as a movie. I, yeah, I guess. Really yeah, was, cool, great cool. momentum. Yeah. Like Endgame, I hated. It felt like just a weird victory lap of everyone dicking around. Also, a the bunch. time, the time travel thing is nonsense. Always annoying. You're I like, didn't see Shang Chi though. To you be didn't fair. see Shang Chi. No, racist. I know. God, <laughs> that's damn. why I did it. We found the thing to get on Danny about this episode. Get the racist. <laughs> no, as somebody dating a Chinese American woman, it, it held a lot more like influence in our family. Shang Chi was really cool, and she was like, "Oh, like she felt represented by it, and all that." So oh, I was nice. like, yeah, so I, it held more sway right. in my in my household. But okay, so um, last one, good was Infinity, I, War. Infinity War, in my opinion. But like Ant Man, like since all it does is set up Phase Five by introducing Kang, having Modok, no one's gonna be happy about that. By Don't the way, even know who that is. If you didn't like the Mandarin in Iron Man 3, you'll be very upset about Modoc in this. Weren't they, wasn't there just like a, they were like, awesome Mandarin, and then it wasn't the Mandarin? Wasn't that, and then the Mandarin was a white guy or something, right? I don't want to say what the Modoc situation is, but that is what happened in Iron Man okay, 3. Okay, gotcha, yeah, But yeah. so, since it, all it does is set up Phase 5, as a movie, it is nothing. It is such a hollow movie. Gotcha. With like... Just, just like shit happening and like no real, it, the movie is full of this. It's full of like someone being like, yeah, like I, I, this happened to me last time I went to prison and someone being like, you went to prison? What do you mean? It's that, but like ad lib it. So then it's like, when I was in the quantum realm, this happened. It's like, you were in the quantum realm and this happened. Why didn't you tell me? That's the whole movie. Is it like Family Guy flashbacks? Like, no, they don't flash back to okay. it. They just tell you, which is arguably worse. So they're just, it's, it's exposition as it's, a movie. It's a lot of exposition. There are flashbacks for those who are going to come at me about that. Okay. But like, it's a lot of exposition. It's a lot of nothing. Didn't love it, but it was fine. At this point, I have no expectations for Marvel stuff. It's, they burned me with Moon Knight. They burned me with Thor. They you didn't like me- Moon Knight? I didn't like Moon Knight either, actually. I don't know why I'm fucking... It was boring. Yeah. You don't have to hate yeah, me. I don't know. I, don't, I came in super hostile and I was like, oh, wait, I didn't like it either. Yeah. 
But like, I because Moon Knight was like my I favorite. I was so hero. pumped on it. I was, yeah. I was like, Moon Knight's incredible, and I was like, I fucking barely got through six episodes of that yeah. shit. I was upset because it's like a dumb, goofy comedy, and it should have been like real dark and like psychological, like the trailers yeah. gave us. But like, but anyway, saw the movie, and everyone's having fun. Everyone's there, like liquored up on like bottomless free drinks they and foods he, listen, food listen, straw hats he hooks it up yeah so he it does it's a movie theater you get the second floor the bar is open they put little lights in the drinks you yeah. get cake pops you yeah. get pizza it's great it's very nice like it was i loved the experience which is also why the second i sat in the theater i was like I will leave happy regardless of the quality of the film. And then you were like, like never mind. Yeah, and then I was they like, they have burned me. Yeah, I was like, lose my number, Jose. Yeah, like, <laughs> never yeah. be your second again. Yeah, but no, it was very fun. Everyone was having fun. I loved meeting people until. I um, forgot we were talking about an embarrassing thing. Boy, were we. Oh, God. So okay. I'm there. I'm wearing, uh, I should have brought the jacket. I intended to bring it. I'll mm-hmm. bring it next time. Your I'm wearing a drive jacket. I'm wearing a denim jacket that has. UA from Avatar The Last Airbender painted on its back. Wait, UA from Avatar The Last... It's Sokka's girlfriend who turns into the moon spirit. In oh, oh, one. oh. I thought you meant like UA as in MHA's. No, no. Gotcha. Um, what the fuck does UA stand for? In what? MHA. Um, oh no. Something Academy. Oh no, I knew it. I knew what it was. Is it Japanese? No, it's not. It's, it's just something Academy. University Academy? <laughs> it's University Academy. I, I, is, <laughs> I do like we that. know? It's universe. We do know. Unhero Academy. Hold on. Hold uh, on. Hold un- on. What does you guys... God. Unjustified Murders Academy. You know what the worst part is? It, what if it is Japanese? It is. It is Japanese? I thought it was something Academy. Well, it would make sense that it's Japanese. It's a, it's an anime. Wait, no, it doesn't because it's... It'd be something Academy High School. What? University Academy High School. I was I'm right? Assume, no, that's not what it is. I was right! But that's what I'm going to assume it is from now on. Um, you know, the worst... Listen, in, it, the absence of, in the absence of, of other evidence, I'm correct. You know what the worst part is? Is that after the Full Metal Alchemist debacle uh-huh. of last episode... My credibility is already on a fucking hot Bold plate. of you to assume you had credibility credibility to begin with. Did not, you? Not looking so good Did. after after that fumble, are you? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. body time. I've been in America for two days. Listen, I just want to right now establish my role in this podcast mm-hmm. as the anime uh, novice. Mm. You are the veteran. I come here. I we have don't much come, less We sex. don't come here as an authority on anime. I chat about it. I'm I'm growing my uh, journey into anime. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't accept this because we're different. Accept it. No, we're different Please. though. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we're different because you're like I. When it comes to shonen, yeah, the things that men, you know, sup, bro, sup. It's Goku stronger than Naruto. I don't give a fuck. You gotta stop talking about to it. those kinds of men. So like, I'm just saying, like, that's when it comes down yeah. to like shonen. And mystery and magical girl. That's my shit, bro. Right, That's right. my shit. When it comes to like, you know, like I don't like where this like, is going. Like things about skateboarding uh-huh. or, or ice skating <laughs> yeah. or extreme or, or sports furries. where people fall in love. Yeah. yeah, then then that's that's your shit. If yeah. it makes if it makes you cry a little bit, that's you. This you is just not watch banana help. fish. Yeah. There's, yes. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh-huh. the story. So yeah, after the premiere. Feeling great. Just finished Ant-Man. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone's kind of like in that vibe where they're like, I had fun, but that was an okay movie. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and then they're on TikTok and they're like, that movie was sick. I know. I was I was expecting we're that. All trying to be in Marvel's pockets. I was expecting that. I was delighted to see a lot of TikTokers like who came up to me and were like, yeah, that was fine. Like, I'm happy because I'm drunk. I was happy to oh, see on TikTok. Sometimes. They were like, this was fine. Like, this yeah. was an okay movie. So that was cool, um, seeing that people aren't as fake as I cynically feared Believed they would be. them to yeah. be. That's fair. But, um, so then, Jose's talking to some people I don't know. Like, I'm just hanging in I the hate back. I when he does that. Yeah, I hate You're when that like, guy's more back popular. Here. God yeah. damn it. Yeah, talk to me. I am, you Please. brought me, I'm your date, yeah. woman. <laughs> yeah. Take, talk to me. He, he's talking to some creators that I, like, don't even know. So mm. I'm just, like, hanging back, like, minding my own business and I keep like glancing at this person um from like across the way and then she comes up to me and she's like 
Watch it with that face. Little meat cute there. Little 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 meat cute. Yeah. Um, this girl comes up to me like relatively like more your age than mine. But like, we are two years apart. Twenty <laughs> five? What? Twenty five and a half? <laughs> I'm twenty four. I'm a baby. I'm twenty six. I'm a little baby. I okay. Um, so what does that make? Does that make me a full grown adult? <laughs> so, Big two years there. Huge two years. I guess you're over here with your four hundred one k. I I. Okay, I know so, we do I the same job. I worked in science for a year. Um, but so she comes up to me and she's like, oh my God, like, I love your jacket. Is that from Avatar? And I was like, oh yeah, it's UA. It's the blah, blah, blah. And I've got the koi fish on either sleeves. Like, Incredible. it's a very cool jacket that my friend made me. And she's like, did you paint that? And I was so close to lying. I, and I should have. This experience has taught me I should have. I honestly, <laughs> lying to strangers is one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> I love lying to strangers. Because like, if I'm not going to see you again. Yeah, roll the dice. Why not? See what happens. Why not? Best case scenario, it explodes in your face. Because then the story's even better. If you're like, if you lie and they're like, oh, that's cool. Lame story. If you, if you're like, if they're like, yeah, Hell like yeah. I'm a doctor. And you're like, oh my God, I'm a doctor too. And they're really come to this doctor's convention with me. I'm going to that doctor's Absolutely. convention. I'll buy, I can get a lab coat and a yeah. stethoscope on Amazon. I'll be I, there in a heartbeat. Then I'm everyone else will be wearing a tie. I'll just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I got like the old like yeah. doctor headlamp. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, they're like, you came Is over. Is that a rusty scalpel? What, yeah. the, what are you doing? They're like, oh wow, you're overdressed. And Dude. it's like, not if someone dies, I'm not. I'm sorry. You're underdressed. Sorry, I take my profession seriously, yeah. sir. I'm an on the call doctor. Yeah. Yeah. What are you, an undercover doctor? Yeah, come like, on. But that tie what are you gonna do with that tie if somebody's a bullet wound use it to stuff up the bullet wound come on she comes up she's like i love the jacket like did you make it and i'm like oh no actually like my friend did because my the lead actress of my uh western short film had to work that in painted there. it i i didn't say that i didn't tell movies? that to her oh, okay I, gotcha i was like i'm not telling anyone in la that i'm a filmmaker wouldn't that have is been the, surprised at all if we just sprinkled that one in there that is like I've learned that is the least credible and most annoying thing to say in LA. I'm a model. Yeah. It's like, like that's sick. Yeah, it's like unless you're James Cameron, don't be like, yeah, I make films. Like only James Cameron. Only James. If you're Spielberg, shut the fuck up. I would argue that that. Take your time. Who's the guy I like? Gerard Butler. Uh, <laughs> oh, Michael Bay. <laughs> but you do like Gerard Butler. <laughs> as a callback you don't shut up about michael gaming. bay he also gets yeah. to claim it okay fair but so um yeah but i the reason i didn't lie was because the girl who made the jacket for me is like an unbelievably sweet person and mm -hmm. like you know i was like i gotta give her credit the jacket's unbelievable gotcha. so i was just like yeah no my friend made it and she was like oh my god like that's so cool like i love avatar and we get talking like we're just chatting i'm like she's like who do you know here i'm like oh i got invited by this guy and mm -hmm. she's like i got invited by uh, by Juju, and I'm like, that's so cool. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, that's why. I was like, Dreams ooh, la da Yeah. Um, and like, and we're like, you know, we're having fun. She's laughing and stuff like that. Like five minutes go by, and then I forget how it slips out, but she's like, yeah, you know, like we get back to talking about Avatar again, mm -hmm. and she's like, I actually did some voice work for Avatar, and the second she says it, I knew who she was, and I was like, I was like wait, who did you voice? And she was like, I was Toph. And I literally, like, all the social, like, ineptitude in me left my body. Like, all of my social skills drained from me. And I literally, like, look at her and I was like, how the fuck are you gonna drop that on me right now? Five minutes into us talking. Some voice work? Yeah, yeah I did a little so You were one of the main characters? Work. I did a bit of voice work. And I was like... And then I like my, as if my life flashed before my eyes, I was like, how did I embarrass myself over the last five minutes just now? And I was just like, I'm just You're like, just doing mental recall. Yeah. Just making sure like I wasn't an absolute idiot. Yeah. And then, so then we like keep talking because she still can't find Juju and she like doesn't know anyone else. And we're like chatting and I'm like, I was like, so does it ever like slip out? Like you're at a coffee shop and people are like, are you fucking tough? And she was like, no, well, because I'm older, like. My voice is a little deeper and different, but like sometimes when I go like this and I was like, you shut the fuck up right now. She just like whips out the voice at me. 
And the worst. What part of this is embarrassing? The worst. Oh, thing, I had to meet one of you know what the embarrassing the most talented is? voice actresses in the history of anime. Oh no. The best part that I will hold with me forever. The good part of this is I like drove home the whole hour away, and I was like, oh my god, I made Toph laugh for like ten minutes straight as I'm like gripping the wheel. The <laughs> worst part is not at any point did I tell her I make a living making Avatar content. She thinks I'm like Jose's like little bitch li- boy. Yeah, little bitch boy he met in high school or something. He's like, come on, let's let's take you up to the big yeah. leagues. You could have made so much content with that woman. I got a picture. So I your got a selfie. Your embarrassment is the lack of networking. Yes. I thought you were gonna pee yourself in this store. I thought you were like, I had like seven gin and tonics because I, I was didn't scared. get to the part where I peed myself, <laughs> and then I peed myself, Nick. She was like, I can feel in the ground that you're covered in this. <laughs> yeah. The second I sat down in my car, I peed, and I didn't stop until I got in my bed. <laughs> it's a long I, drive. I, she could follow me home if she wanted to. I, oh, I would have said some dumb shit. I would have been like, how was it voice acting as, as a non-blind person? She'd be like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? Uh, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's my first uh, time. Yeah. Did you get Braille scripts to get into the character? Like, I, I let almost, me see your feet. I just because <laughs> Toph, I've seen. I never. God damn it. <laughs> I was almost like when she was like, "Yeah, I voiced Toph." My immediate reaction would be like, "Oh my god, that's crazy!" I was Sokka, <laughs> and I knew that that like every other being in me was like, "Don't you say that joke? Like that will not <laughs> land." <laughs> Uh, I remember you. I just like, I need to like see her at a con and be like, listen, I blew it the last time. I make content. Like I'm, I'm a somebody. Yeah. <laughs> like, I deserve to be yeah, here. I, yeah. Like I deserve to be. I got canceled here. over your content. Yeah. Like, uh, that's so funny. And you know, the, not nearly as embarrassing as I hoped it would be. You, that's why Nick's been making fun of me for using this uh, mug. For my drinking mug. He was, okay. It's thematic. For, first of all, there's people who listen to this and don't watch it. But for those of you who are listening, Danny was like, hey, can I get a water? Because we are in my house. And he, I was like, absolutely. You can get a water, friend. I love you. And, you know, I have glasses downstairs. I have mugs. I have bottles even downstairs. And instead, Danny comes up with a bowl. A bowl. Like a of, soup bowl. A su- <laughs> it's technically a ramen bowl that came yeah. with matching chopsticks. Also, something that was sent to me. Um, and... Listen, all I'm saying is... Listeners can't see it, but I'm making a big la di da gesture. I think they could feel your la di da gesture. So he's just, he just came up with a bowl. He was going to lap it up. Like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's just been one handing up. It's like a soup bowl. For listeners, I've been picking it up and putting it to my lips. With I've two been... hands, like, like an insane person. I have been shaking. <laughs> you're just, you're just like, you're remembering about pissing in front of Tom. Yeah. Well, that's the photo. I took one picture with her and it is like almost blurry as hell mm-hmm. because it was right after like it's she told worst. me she was top and i'm just like i'm just like oh like can i be obnoxious and like get a photo and she's like yeah and i'm like thanks it's just you can just hear like <laughs> as i'm like shaking the thing yeah like, that's uh, the worst is when you when you meet somebody and you get a terrible photo with them and they're like yeah Good. <laughs> i know i know i uh uh it was the worst but i had a I had a butt. Where did my ass go? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember what your butt was either. I had a segue. Okay. It's gone forever. Do you want me to do a segue? No. Give me two seconds. Two seconds. To think of this. I'm letting him cook. I don't know. Got it. She she did tell me though. Yes. Toph did tell me. Uh Uh-huh. If anyone wants to campaign for uh, Michelle last name. (laughs) Not only did you not tell her you were a content creator, didn't even look up her last name before we came on the show today. I was so blinded. (laughs) <laughs> I, I was so you could literally just look up tough English voice actor. E- easy as that. I've literally never been more starstruck. But I, like, I, that's insane to me. She she did tell me uh, she wants to do um, live action stuff. She wants to be in a superhero film. So does she want to be tough? Aren't they making a live action avatar? They are, but I feel like was she short and blind? She's like twenty eight and blonde and doesn't. So Look that's like what a, you meant by closer to my age. Yeah, Anybody older. older than me is closer to my age. Yeah, agreed. That's cheating. Old man. I'm geezer. I, barely <laughs> older than you, sir. I wasn't wrong. I was I, incorrect. It's not incorrect, but it's it's yeah. like the price is right. If you just if you over guess, yeah. it doesn't count. It counts. No, in the price is as right. As long as I'm not above 30. In the price is right, if you if you go over the price, it doesn't count. 
I think. I think those are the rules. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't watch The Price is Right. I'm not, I'm not retired, I was, old I man. I was going to make an Alzheimer's <laughs> joke, but you beat me to it. God damn it. Anyway, segue. I've been watching Boruto. I'm sorry? Boruto Canon is back. Oh, nice. Boruto Manga Canon has come back. We're two weeks into the code arc. Ask me how it is. How is not it? Not fucking good. That's okay. how. Yeah. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's tough Jesus. because I was just in Japan. Yeah. Uh, chatting. Oh, were you? I was. Wow, you never talk about it. Did I not yet? No, okay, no. well, I, that's weird because I feel like that's something I would bring up. Yeah. Um. So I was just in Japan talking with uh, Viz and Suesha and, you know, all the people who make Boruto and Naruto. Uh, and I was acting as the American liaison, the kind of, you know, finger on the pulse of the American crowd, what the what everyone's looking for. That's uh, right. You've got big news. I do have big-ish uh, news. You things, have news. <laughs> things that I can legally, uh, legally tell everybody. Uh, so getting into my trip in Japan, uh, I was just dicking around the first couple of days with my tattoo artist. And then uh, we got uh, back to Tokyo after going to Osaka and Kyoto. Uh, and I had to do a little presentation at uh, Viz and Sue for Viz and Suisha separately. They're different entities. Um, and so I was kind of just telling them like what the American audience, like positives, cons, uh, what we expect from the future, uh, like timeline stuff, all that. And got a little bit of news about Boruto, nothing crazy. I mean, I got a lot of news about Boruto, but I can only tell you so much. Uh, but basically uh, what I told them was I was like, Nobody really understands why the manga is monthly and the anime is weekly. That doesn't make sense to anyone. Mm -hmm. That's just going to make for so much filler. Terrible idea. Um, we don't really believe in anime canon. Uh, anime canon is still viewed as filler in the American audience, uh, which makes sense because it fucking is. Yeah. Like, doesn't matter how much anime canon stuff you shove in. Like, nobody nobody from anime canon has shown up in manga canon episodes yet. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's all canon. Like, it's all happening. It's like this added a samurai girl to the to the story. And, like, she's anime canon, but she's she's not showing up in the code arc. Right. She won't show up in the code arc. It's not, not going to happen. So I told them anime canon is just viewed as filler. Um, and that everybody's looking forward to the time skip. Uh, and that also I brought up this, uh, I was, I was there talking about Naruto 99 as well. And I was saying that Minato, everybody was hoping for Minato to win. Um, the audience, the, the, some people were okay with Sakura winning, but the majority of people in America want Minato to win. Um, and if they get Minato, they want Minato's short manga to parlay into a longer story. Minato, the previous generations, right. which my big news is, um, one, uh, let's just say I have a w I have a tattoo of the person who won Naruto Top ninety nine, uh, and the manga. The you have to stop making your tattoos news. I what do you what do you I just uh, there's 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 a there's. I just feel like every segment is a plug for your tattoos. I have three Naruto tattoos. All oh. right, one is Tsunade, one is Sasuke, and one is Minato. Right. So Sakura won. One of my tattoos won Naruto Top ninety nine. Gotcha. Uh, the 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 it's not coming out until April, I think. Like they're is well, Naruto. Top, that's a thing where fans vote. Worldwide right? uh, popularity contest. Everybody in the it's, world. It's interesting then to be like people want this person to win. Yeah. As if that wouldn't be reflected in the voting. Well, you so know what I mean? People were like, oh, the One Piece community is is, is a coming. Sabotaging, yeah. So stupid. They're like, the One Piece community is voting for Sakura. And it's like, no, just Central and South America love Sakura. Yeah. Like that's like if you look at like the bi region, Central and South America, like have voted so they're she's number one. Right. Uh, and she's also very popular in Japan. And while she's not popular in America, she's popular a lot of places. That's so interesting. Guilty Gear is like that, where like they'll put out polls of like who new DLC characters should be. Mm -hmm. And they'll put out polls like like region character specific. So they'll be like, like Biken was most voted in like Japan and are this you, place. Are you a Guilty Gear guy? Love Guilty Gear. I, this is, that's just, it's a big surprise. Love fighting games. And I, it's an anime thing. So I'm technically not cheating. By I tried the, I, about I, I tried Guilty Gear Strive and I like was playing the story mode. And I was like, I have no idea what's that, going on. That's a movie. Don't play the story mode. Play it was, the game. There was nothing. There's no gameplay in it. There's like no genuinely, gameplay. I'm not dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, they'll put out like regional polls and like different countries will have different characters winning. And yeah. so that's very interesting that. So I that's what, why. that's what I was there to talk about yeah. in our top nine, nine, uh, talked about what well, I was consulted on what I would like to see out of the Minato story. I said, I would like to either see him in the third great Shinobi world war, uh, or like kind of like a, like his, his lead up to becoming the, the yellow flash, like learning things like flying Raijin. Uh, and they were both very receptive and possibly leaning towards those directions. 
Uh, and I brought up the idea of a Minato previous generations and they said they know about it and they definitely are looking into those avenues. Nice. So Boruto, uh, we all know the time skip is coming uh, because it's now, it's basically being hinted at in the manga right now. The next chapter is probably going to be the last chapter before the time skip. The first two episodes of the manga canon stuff, it's just like I've been watching Blue Lock and I've been yeah. watching Vinland Saga and right. I've been watching like like Buddy Daddies and just like shows with really good animation. Yeah. And like I think the, the show, like the mark of a show with really good animation is that like when they're talking, they're moving or they're doing something or they're like adjusting. Yeah. In Boruto, it's just... Oh, like yeah. they just they sit just there lip flaps. Yeah, it's just yeah they, and their, their their character doesn't move at all and they just sit yeah. there and like the camera will pan or something like that but like it's just the character standing still talking there's no yeah. movement there's nothing going on and i'm like i can tell the animation budget is low and while there isn't like crazy there's no seven deadly sins moments where i'm like this is disgustingly bad like you can tell the effort isn't there and it's even weirder when you consider the fact that, that thousand year blood war arc and boruto are done by the same studio well i think it's thousand year blood war arc uh, weekly anime or is it a season so that's the thing yeah that was, so it, 12 I, I episodes yeah I, yeah i don't think it's like a, i mean it's budget for this sure this is also but something I think that just, i brought up people it, want boruto to be seasonal yeah it comes out every week and when you got to do that like of course shit's gonna be like cut but that's ridiculous like stop making weekly anime and there, the thing is there's like, no so reason nuts. there's no reason to make it weekly yeah because there's there's no manga like the, the, the problem that they're running into currently is that the boruto manga isn't making enough content for the Boruto anime to keep up. Right. So if it was seasonal, not only could the could the manga continue to be monthly, um, the animation could be better. And like also seasonal is just better. Like yeah. it's like the hype builds up. But the thing is, Boruto cashes a check for them every single week. Like they were there to showing me the numbers of like watches in Japan, and it was still doing very well in Japan. That's the problem. So it's still catching a check for them every single week. Yeah. So that's so that's my issue. So it's just. The, I'm happy that Boruto manga canon stuff is back, but like when it's stacked up against things like Wano and stacked up against yeah. things like Blue Lock and, and just everything else is going on right now. It's just so hard to get into it, even as somebody who's an avid fan of the content. Right. It's tough. No, that is tough. And like, it sucks because it's literally like money versus creativity at that point. Mm -hmm. Like it's, they do it because it makes some money, but it's like, burning out the like and now now when boruto finishes it's gonna have the same deal with naruto where people are like oh i don't really want to get into it there's a thousand episodes yeah. and then people are like well no just like don't watch the filler and people are like ah it's too much work and so it's like you're hurting boruto like, could be currently as it stands like 65 episodes and it's wow, closing it's closing in on 300, 300. Yeah. that's unbelievable and it's just it, it, I, I think they're doing it right now for the short game but the long game like yeah. like the rewatchability of shows like hunter hunter in in uh i guess gintama is not a really good example but like the rewatchability of shows like hunter hunter and in steins gate and other like really good stories that and, and yeah. black like death clover note. Yeah. death note like shows that had no filler yeah and it's like that you have to consider 10 20 years down the line like when my kids are going to be watching naruto or boruto like i don't want to have to tell them like hey listen like don't be intimidated by this show that could be mha you know yeah. like mha has 120 or so episodes right now and like and it's condensed it's compact and like sure the manga is being rushed and that's kind of an issue but like is it what's that about I, the manga being <sighs> Okay. Oh boy. Complete, complete other barrel of fish. But okay. people are saying that Horikoshi is rushing the manga because either he's ailing, um, Horikoshi is the writer of My Hero Academia, um, either because he's ailing or his editors are rushing him to finish. Mm -hmm. um, because Horikoshi has stated that when he talks about villains and he gives villains a bigger part of the show, that his ratings go down, and that's kind of the whole second half of MHA right. is like a hard focus on the villains, their stories. Um, and how they contrast to the heroes. So people believe that either he's not holding up super well or that he's just being rushed. I don't personally think he's being rushed that badly. Um, there is a couple of moments in the MHA manga where like uh, Koji and o Aota, Aota, I think, I think whatever, Annie Voice in, in Duplarms, yeah, yeah. Um, they're like doing this like heteromorph thing. Like they're being like, we're being suppressed by society, the heteromorphs. Right, right. Yeah, uh, I think we talked about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah a little. Yeah. Um, and then people are like, we're not getting all of our, all the characters we love coming back into like mm. all like, like characters from all the other schools. And then they're slowly being reintroduced throughout this like last combat battle against Shigaraki. So like, 
Ensemble anime, everybody wants every single character to have a fleshed out backstory, and that's right. what Naruto is. Yeah. But it takes 750 episodes. Yeah. Horikoshi doesn't want that. It's got to be tough, too, as a mangaka, where, like, and I kind of, I was thinking about this in terms of video games, too, yeah. sometimes, where, like, it's tough that we are so used to and, like, so in this Sit, don't look at, don't look at this. Don't I, look at I, I see it. I No, listen, everybody needs a fidget toy. I've got a wire uh, for listeners just wrapped around my It's fingers. one of my statue plug-in wires that lights <laughs> it up. I think it's for Luffy. Um, but we are so, like, in this era of, like, needing endless content of the thing we like. Mm-hmm. And, like, I put out, we both put out YouTube videos, like, daily. Five days a week, baby? Yeah, and, and it's, like, that's just kind of, like, what the algorithm wants and, like, what people respond to and it's got to be rough when you have examples like oda with one piece this never-ending insane Mm -hmm. uh manga and anime and like uh conan detective conan which is truly a never-ending thing it's like on it's like fifth that five thousandth chapter yeah and and like and doraemon and like dragon ball is never-ending like they drag toriyama back to that like Mm. who's old who's old who's old you know out of ideas in my opinion (laughs) like when you think of oda how old do you think he is he's like 40-ish, right? He's young. I thought he was like 65. I've seen his wife slash girlfriend. He's young. <laughs> really? I have not seen his wife slash girlfriend. She's like, she's young as hell, I think. Oh, she, oh, she's like oh. a cosplayer. How young? Not, Do- not, not We're talking bad. Japan. Don't go young not, as hell. Not anything bad, but she's like a cosplayer. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely check it. <laughs> definitely check I'm, it. I'm looking up Oda girlfriend, but continue going off. Um, But it's gotta be tough that like, people will look at One Piece and be like, yeah, like, I love One Piece. One Piece has proven you can go on and on and on forever. My, I love One Piece, but my favorite thing is my hero. I want one hero. I want my hero to go on forever. Why can't it? And at some point, you gotta wonder if the mangaka just wants to do a different thing. You know, like maybe a mangaka doesn't want to work on the same story every I think that's week going until on they Horikoshi. die. Yeah. yeah, like, and maybe he is ailing. Maybe he does want to work on it forever. Yeah. Because I know it, there, you could also argue that, like, people who get into writing manga maybe go in with the aspiration that it's like, I want this to be my one piece. Like, yeah. I want Black Clover to be never ending. Oda's made a quarter sure million, actually, Black Clover's in his last yeah, arc, but ending, Oda's made yeah. a quarter million dollars off of One Piece. Yeah. Also, his girl, wife, girlfriend, yeah. wife, yeah. she played Nami in the live action play of One Piece. I knew. She was dressed that's as Nami. That's gotta be a conflict of interest. That, Is that not a conflict of interest? That's gotta be, like, some kind of weird power move. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's oh, you're just like, hey, hope you like that job as one of my characters. That's not like... Well, but also, I can't imagine Oda, like... That'd be like... Like, James Cameron marrying the voice actor of someone... In a Terminator video game. You're big on James Cameron this week. Apparently. I, I don't like him. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't even like him. I, I, I'm happy he occupies a space in your brain. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. But like, no, it's like, it's the equivalent of something like that where it's like, you know, I have to assume Oda is so far removed from the fucking play of yeah. One Piece, you know? That's fair. There's like, like 19 people between Oda yeah. and the live action play yeah, of One Piece. Exactly. It's not like, yeah. But so, um, what were we talking about? Our catchphrase. What were we talking about? We we're talking about dynamics of power. Yes. No, before that. But okay. yeah, like you have to assume like, or you don't have to assume, but it's entirely possible that mangakas just don't want their thing to go on forever. And it yeah. kind of sucks. I would get bored. It sucks for mangaka that shonen famously go on forever. Yeah. Or, you know, the big ones do. Like, yeah. um, like and at least, like at least 200 chapters. Yeah. And I'm a culprit of that where I'm like, Avatar is making a big resurgence mm-hmm. and they seem to want it to like, which is, is good. it all written by the same person? It's not. It's like two guys. Is it? Yeah. It's two dudes. I did not know that. Yeah. To be fair though. Even it, like the light novels. Um, like the one, no, like no, the no, one about the, the previous avatars and all that. No, gotcha. Those, the Kiyoshi books, the Kiyoshi novels. Incredible bang very good so good kind of rated r which is really cool lived 300 years um had a terrible childhood yeah they're very um, violent yep very like intense and like they're so good yeah. i love them had killed a, a lot of people Kiyoshi. killed a ton of people. a lot of no qualms about murder if you are interested in the kiyoshi book ang's story is about him figuring out how he's going to solve his problems without killing a man mm-hmm. kiyoshi's is figuring out how she's going to solve her problems 
by killing, killing better. People. Yeah, yeah, exactly. By like, becoming a better killer. Kills. Yeah. Yeah. It's why it's three books, right? It's a trilogy. Two books and then a Yang Chen one just yeah. came out, gotcha. which I own, haven't read yet. It's um it's cool. I hear it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but I'm excited to I, I'm such a, like, Avatar bitch. Like, mm-hmm. I love that shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, you you met Toph's voice actor. Yeah. So that's... And ne- next that's time, the... I'll be better. Yeah, you'll be like, oh, my, by the way. My goal is I'm going to show up to, like, a con, like, coincidentally, you know? I'm mm. not going to hunt down Toph. No, but, yeah. Like, <laughs> not like, like yeah, not... stalker socials, like, sniff <laughs> the ground for her. But get like, your grippers out and start feeling. If, if I ever... <laughs> if I ever, like, run into Toph ever again, I'm going to be like, listen, just, like... Before I say anything else, mm-hmm. I need you to know I, like, make a living making Avatar content. That was yeah. my biggest folly, not mentioning that last time. I love that for you. Now we can continue being normal. And you're like, by the way, I tracked your scent here. <laughs> yeah. like, I, like, by the way, we, we yeah. spent 15 minutes talking yeah. about our encounter on a podcast <laughs> for thousands of people. Oh, my God, you're here? Hi, I'm Danny. This is my bloodhound. Uh, <laughs> Zeph, like, <laughs> you left yeah. this at, yeah, you at, le- at the screener. You left this uh, piece of jacket that I cut off. <laughs> <laughs> this this yeah. lock of hair. Yeah, <laughs> but, um... Oh man, this podcast has definitely cemented the fact that she'll never want to talk to me again. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You know, yeah. she'll be a big movie star one day, and we'll be like, "Hey, listen, she'll be in a superhero." Yeah, movie. Danny and I'll lie almost and say I did that. Danny almost told her what he did. Yeah, this exactly. close. Hey, I could have been me. I, been you. I would have nothing to say. I've made two YouTube videos on Avatar. But you're an anime guy. I'm an anime guy. Yeah. I technically don't think Avatar is an anime, but that's fine. Yeah, it's a cartoon. I guess technically it's easy as that. It's okay. inspired. Yeah. Can we talk about other anime though? Yeah, what? Uh, like Buddy Daddies. Sure. How far are have you gotten it? Not. What do you episode, mean? Because I'm reacting to it, and which means I have to wait for the dub. So I'm on episode uh, two. 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 I'm on episode seven. I know. I'm sorry. God. I'll catch up. It's so good. It's I'm. So good. You were telling me that. You were saying that it's. You still rank it higher it's than Spy better Family. Better than Spy Family. Unbelievable. It's just okay. If Spy, it's one funnier than Spy Family. Um, I think that's that's important to get out of the way. Uh, I think it's funnier than Spy Family. Right. Two, Spy Family is about being spies. Like it's like it's it's more embroiled in the spy plot line than the family plot line, right? Okay, interesting. You understand I what I'm saying? Going, like yeah. there's moments where Lloyd and Yor have to step up as parents and, yeah. and be there for Anya and all that, and that's super cute, and I love that. Um, but it's a lot of spy missions. But it's from mostly Lloyd. spy missions. From Lloyd. Buddy Daddy's is a family. It's family. It's first. a it's family focused. And family it's, first, spy second. What's well, not even? It, it's about them struggling to be spies because of them being a family. Right. And it's really cute. And there's like actually deep thematic like lines driven through it. Like they like like they're trying to return her and stuff like that. And them struggling to be parents and like identifying right. the parts of them and fleshing out their backstories and why they struggle in these parts of their parenthood and why they feel so compelled to raise Miri. It is so. It's so. Uh, it seems good oh my god it's so good i love it so much and wow. also i relate to kakuz Ka- what is his what is his name uh kazuki Kaz- Kazu? Ka- kazuki yeah. kazuki i relate to kazuki so goddamn much so good because my miri is neutron and my ray is dorothy and if i it, listen if i don't bust my back doing laundry and cooking for this household i'm not saying dorothy can't do it she was alone for two and a half weeks she did fantastic the house looks Okay, uh, but better than I thought it would. Yeah. But like this last episode is about him getting like burnt out doing all this stuff. And I was like, and then like he realizes he loves his family and like he does this to support all of them. And, like he should be there for them. And he realizes like he leaves Ray with Miri and Miri gets sick. And then like Ray steps up to be an incredible father. And it's just such a, it's so cute. I'm glad you related to it as a stay at home mom yourself. I am. Yeah. I, it's, I know My son are. is locked outside right now. He's usually in here with us. Yeah. He, oh, we usually, well, the problem is you close the door when we do the podcast. By the time we start talking, because he he hates content voice. Yeah, he gets Neutron, scared. Neutron, yeah. I don't blame him. I also hate content voice. So he tries to leave, but he doesn't know how to open doors. Right. So you just lock him in here every time you close the door, and then he just hunkers down for two he hours. He can leave beforehand. I don't know why I'm the fucking monster because here Because you're the situation. one you're the one who closes the Sorry, door. Sorry, I want better audio. I see that. I don't. Why does that give us better audio? Because the... Wouldn't that make more bouncy? It makes it fuller. It makes it a little fuller. Like, because the sound isn't escaping out the door. What does that mean? Fuller. Like... Can you hear the depth of the Yeah, voice? like, it's it's less hollow. Okay. I have no idea what that means, but I believe you. I'll open the you goddamn door if you keep... made a Western movie. I so, did. Buddy Daddies is incredible. It's better than Boruto. Boruto... No, it's better. 
<laughs> so out of the Spikes family, Boruto was bad. And then I had one more thing. And then lastly, Demon Slayer had a premiere and we didn't get invited to it. I'm so upset. <laughs> I Listen, I don't want to be like the, do you know who I am? But like, if we're not getting invited to it, who is? I like, I don't like, I, I'm sorry. This is going to come off as pretentious, but like, we talk about anime and when it comes to talk about anime, there's not a whole lot of people that are like that. But like the list is probably 20 to 25 people that are bigger than us in terms of talking about anime. And, and how many of those people live in LA? All yeah. of Trash Taste lives in fucking Tokyo. <laughs> like, I don't like, I don't, they have the premiere in this city, in this city, the city of angels. Don't even, don't even hit my line. I, I don't have like, you know. Your PFP on this podcast is Demon Slayer. I'm, I'm still very like, you know, new and like wide eyed to like the whole content and LA thing. Like I got, I went to the AMM premiere and it was this like awe inspiring, like very, very fun event. I was very appreciative too. Mm -hmm. And I saw that the Demon Slayer, um, it's the last two episodes of season two. And then the first and episode. And the first episode of season three. And they just bundle that into like a movie. And like 4K'd it. And I yeah. would love to see that fight. And like, I, you know, I saw there was a premiere and I was like, oh, you know, that's super cool. Would have loved to gone to it. But I didn't have this like sense of entitlement or anything. And then I saw someone post a picture with a big Anosuke like mascot. We're talking about Straw Hat. What? We're talking about Straw Hat. It was Straw Hat. <laughs> Goofy. He Who hasn't seen the show? <laughs> he posted a picture on the red carpet with a big Anosuke like mascot. And I was like... That fucker's living my dream. God. Like, I was so, ah, uh, if I could hug an Inosuke, I, I would want. die that night. That's all I want. Because my life would be. I would be the Inosuke. I would have I gone to the event cosplay. I, yeah, I'd be the Inosuke. I wouldn't even go into the theater. I'd just do the red carpet, go home. I would, A I job would, well done. I would go cosplayed as either Nezuko or, or Inosuke. I just... Listen, I love, I love Straw Goofy. He's a great guy. He's one of the most genuine human beings I've ever met in my entire fucking life. He hasn't seen Demon Slayer. I've seen Demon Slayer. I can tell you. I have an informed opinion. I just like, and here's the thing. I, I, I emailed all the people I should email. I emailed, I emailed Funimation. I emailed Bandai. I emailed Crunchyroll. And nobody got back to me. I emailed nobody. you. You, he, really, he, he was like, hey. I emailed there's... everyone he was I like, had He was like, this with. movie's coming out. Can you can you try? And I tried. And I tried. <laughs> and nope. Nick's sitting here yelling about it. So don't go don't, don't go see the movie. Don't. I mean, do, 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 well, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's going to be incredible. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. We're, no, you know what? No. Here don't go see the movie. We are doing nothing if not burning bridges. Yeah. Love Sack. Gone. Gone. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Magic the Gathering and Love Sack. I want one. I can't, I, you, I can't have mine. New, Neutron will fight you for it. <laughs> I would love one. If you can you fight whole, Neutron. You got a big pack of Magic the Gathering cards with it too. I did. And I'm over here. I had the same experience you had with Straya Goofy where I'm like, this fucker doesn't even play Magic. Yeah. I, I am already giving away the cards to another friend. Otherwise, they would be yours. So I had this experience twice this week. <laughs> and you where met Where I'm Toph. like, this... And I met Toph. And you blew a meeting with Toph. This has been the worst week of my life. And now I look like a psychopath on this podcast. Why? Because, I mean, what else is new, but yeah, why? Because I'm me. Because that's all I do. Yeah. And you don't know, you haven't watched Full Metal Alchemist. And I told and you, I, I said, watched Full I said, Metal Alchemist. 10, I said, 10, 10 episodes, that's all you need to do. And I didn't, and I won't. No. You're too busy with Bungo Stray Dogs. I'm too busy with Bungo Stray Dogs. I just started Banana Fish. It's good. It's a weird prior, like I like it's a weird prioritization to start Banana Fish when in the face of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The popular anime, I gotta, I gotta do what's best for my business. Mm -hmm. Like I react to Avatar. Yeah. They don't do well, but when I go out and meet creators, yeah. those are the ones they've seen. So it's a good networking opportunity. They're like, oh, Avatar guy. Yeah. Who wants Uncle Iroh's body on his exactly. body? Exactly. Yeah. And gotcha. I love Avatar. The things I love and that people. I know watch mm -hmm. don't do well. Meanwhile, Banana Fish and Yuri on Ice, this is what gets me views. <laughs> and so what do I do, Nick? Well, the, well the, you've cultivated what and the thing is you've cultivated a following. Um and this is the kind of following that would send you unsolicited sexts. 
uh, which is apparently a big part of your life. Something I, don't know I what, learned about. I don't know what your panties are all twisted in a bunch no, 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 no. There's no mm. panties because listen, I've also, I've I also I know there's received, no panties. I know I, how you walk around Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Today is the first non-commando episode. Thank God. Earlier, it's getting hot. Before we, I'm sweating. Yeah. Be- before we, uh recorded this nick was like yeah look how thin these shorts are and he starts yeah. writing them up and i'm like nick please i listen if thank I, god if, you're wearing boxes. if i could be so frank these shorts uh my frank falls out sometimes so i had to put underwear on i'm sorry I'm sorry all right I, listen i'm on camera i have to i have to have some level don't give me that face it's the worst face i've ever been forced to make. don't give me that face <laughs> it was fantastic wordplay so anyways uh i found out something about you and that's, oh I and get- that's you you just you just get covered just get covered in unsolicited sex. And here's the thing, so do I. So do I. Not from women, mind you, ever. Not I never get them from women. Not even <laughs> once. Um, but then again, I have, uh, when it comes to baby he's got back, oh my goodness. So I can't blame anyone, if I'm being entirely real. I have the ass of a... What Nick's referring to is mm. uh, somebody reached out to me on Instagram. They sent me a DM uh, replying to like one of our highlights from yep. this podcast. And they were like, oh damn, so you're both hot. And I was like, well, they first told you to off yourself, which I thought was an interesting way of hitting on somebody. That was like a different. Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a different. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like kill yourself, sexy. I, like, well, I mean, that's what it's some people's approach. Yeah, but um, yeah. So they were like, yeah, oh damn, you both are hot, and I was like, how dare you? Yeah. On my Instagram DM, talk about another man like that. Yeah, I listen. I am hot here. And he, and he sent it to me, and he was like, and I was and like, I are said, you okay? Enjoy it while it lasts, bitch. I listen. I was I was more concerned about the first message where he was like, off yourself, and then it was like, you're both hot, and I was like, is he negging you? What's going on here? I think it was like a. Uh, I mentioned banana fish or whatever, and it was like, a, oh, you might as well end yourself now because banana fish is famously. Dark and depressing. Gotcha. It was something like that. I wasn't being harassed or bullied. Gotcha. Um, well, I didn't have that context. Well, you know, I just want you to know you were pretty that week. Thanks. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how we get our confidence up. Unsolicited sex. Yes, yeah, shoot, <laughs> shoot me sex. I, <laughs> I like them. <laughs> that's um, the worst idea we've ever had. Are right, you want to get the best boy? Real quick. Okay. You talk, you talk about all the anime you watch every week. Yeah. And little old me just get gets to trounce You're along around for the ride. embarrassing myself yep. in front of celebrities. I just drag you in front of crowds and I'm like, look at everything this idiot doesn't know. Out of, because I'm still fixated, out of every celebrity it could have been. Uh uh-huh. I like, and I played it cool. I, you know, I was, I was funny and charming. Just don't ask anybody Are who voice was there. actors and actresses celebrities? Yeah, to me. I guess. To us, we fucking profit but, like, off their you don't shit. Know, but you don't know what their face looks like. I know Tom Kenny. If Tom Kenny ran up to me, I'd know him. SpongeBob and the Ice King. Oh, yeah. I didn't know his name. Yeah, yeah. I, I know I Tom like, Kenny. I'd be like, that's an eccentric white old man. I know Jonah Scott, but he watches my B Stars videos, and his girlfriend is very nice, and we are mutual TikTok followers. Uh, is he the voice He's of Legoshi? Legoshi? Gotcha. He's Legoshi. He's Joe in Skate the Infinity. Okay. Just a deep voiced Italian mm-hmm. dude. Um, yeah, I, I can do Patrick uh, Warburton. Nope, the one who's like everybody. Um, he's oh god, he's Frankie and he's Scorpion. Uh, I forget. I, his, no I forget his name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know. Um, who's fucking not Steve Blum, but maybe I'd recognize him. Chris Sabat. Chris Sabat is also yeah. big. I feel like he's just big, but that's probably also because he's good. But celebrities, voice yeah. actors are for sure celebrities. I guess. But um. Anyway, have you heard of the anime High Card? It's new, and it's an anime original. It's no. not a manga. It sounds like Kakiguri. A little. Okay. I haven't watched it yet. I was going to watch it today, but we shot this a little earlier mm-hmm. than I had time for. Um, Danny's got a fancy dinner to go to. I do have a fancy dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, it uh, the premise is so stupid, and I love it. Okay. It's a show. Like most anime originals are, are stupid premises. But you just, you strap in for him. It's like, you'll know the type of stupid. It's gotcha. like, apparently, it's kind of like Bakugan, where a deck that of- one, Was that the one where they threw the ball and it popped? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Throw a ball and ball pops. There was too many- Bakugan. There was too many, like- Toy e- anime? There was so many toy anime growing up. I, and, d- I dig a good toy anime. They all got lost in the mix. There was Yu-Gi-Oh! And there was Bakugan, and there was Digimon, yeah. and there then there was- 
What was the one? Wait, let me do some deep cuts. What was the Shredder one? That's Beyblade. Beyblade is Beyblade, well. there was like, uh, what what are they called? The bots, something bots. Megabots? Megabots? Where there's a yellow guy with two big, like, ponytail looking things. Nope. People will know that one. Now, I, this is a Zatch Bell moment, and I love that for oh, you. Oh, Zatch Bell was sick. There's fucking, uh, like, fossil fighters. Do you ever do a fossil fighter? Do you ever do a Legends with a Z? This all feels like this feels like I the love kind of things you found. In, this sounds like the, the kind of toys you found in like the sale aisle of a Kmart. I, like you, yeah. like these were fossil fighters was like a four kids anime deal. Oh, what is was it just fossil like like bones like it's fighting like, each other? Yeah, they have little dinosaurs. They find fossils and that turns into a Pokemon. It's like Pokemon. That happens in Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, that's a Pokemon. thing. That's a that's a mechanic from Pokemon. Maybe I'm thinking of Pokemon. Are you thinking of Pokemon? No, I'm not okay, fossil okay. But anyway, uh, High Cards premise is like I guess they're like 52 magical literal playing cards, like supernatural playing cards. Okay. That got dispersed throughout the world. Soccer or card world. caster? What I you're describing know. is soccer or card caster. I have no okay, idea. Okay, continue. Uh, that got dispersed throughout the world, mm-hmm. and like found different people, and then it goes into people, and they absorb it, and that gives them powers. Okay, so Sakura Card Captors meets that really bad sp- second manga from the Death Note mangaka. What, what was it called? Oh god! If was... you're thinking of Bakugan, that's the only reference I'll get. No, no, it was it was the it was the Death Game that was basically Mirai Nikki, but in Death Note's art style. I completely forget what it was called. It's awful. I have no idea. But um, High okay. Card looks sick. Next, I would have guessed it was a gambling anime, like Twenty One. Like it was like they just played like Twenty One or something. You would think or Blackjack. That. And seemingly... Makes sense. Seemingly the cards... Like, they don't have, like, card-themed powers. So the okay. protagonist get, just summons a gun. Like, a literal gun. That's, that's his it? power. That's his power. In Japan, that is a power. Yeah. Here, that's a Tuesday. Yeah, here, that's just, like, a, a That's purchase. a Walmart parking lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, next, uh, next uh, Otaku's Anonymous. I'll probably We're gonna talk, talk about, about that. High Card? Yeah, I'm gonna check it out. It so was cool. it like a death battle royale? Like they're all like fighting to the death with their gun I, abilities? I don't know. I saw the trailer and I saw someone talk about it and it got me excited. And I was like, okay. I want to see High Card, but I didn't have time. Was it this season? Yeah. It's so there's already six episodes. Six, six episodes six, are in. Six, okay, then, Literally, yeah. yeah. Get going. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna react to it or are you gonna watch it? Like I'm gonna human? watch it okay, probably. I'll see I don't it. have to wait all I want to talk to you about Buddy Dad. I'm already drowning in shit I gotta react oh, to. Oh yeah, you have so many things. What was the most recent boy get, kissing boy anime that you have to watch? Get the best boy, you fine. Okay, fine. Best boy. Um, Meguru, because he got, he's got men, is what I have written. Oh, yeah. Bachira. Bachira from uh, Blue Lock okay. is my best boy of the week because this week's episode of Blue Lock was just like, everybody wants Bachira. You've been riding Bachira's dick listen, since we started listen, this. Listen, if anybody should be loving Blue Lock, it should be you because there is very much a subtle yeah. boy love traits running throughout this entire show. It's definitely homo The entire sure. second half is just like Isagi be like, I'm going to get you back, Bachira. And he's been kidnapped by this big burly man that's Rin and Rin's like, and Bachira's like, oh, whose demon is more like appealing? I'm trying to find somebody I don't to like this little pair. dance you're doing. I'm like, <laughs> listen, this is, this is for the YouTube audience, Wobbling. all right? This is for the YouTube audience. But so like Bachira's like, oh, who am I? Wh- whose side am I going to fall on here? And so Bachira, because he's just got, he's got all the hoes right now currently. He's best boy by far and away. I was going to say it was Isagi because he bent Baro to his will. Uh, and I hated Baro. He was oh, yeah. so goddamn annoying. Um, but so, so seeing Isagi be like, finally the MC I've always wanted him to be. Chef's kiss. Nice. That's dope. Yeah. Good for Blue Lock. And your best boy. Are you not cut up? Um, no. You know I'm not. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. I swear to god, I'm gonna get my credibility way, just, way the fuck caught up. We have up. another episode in four days. I got, I got it. Four days. I got it. It'll Thursday, be easy. We'll film easy, another episode. peasy, dog. You won't find easier peasies. I, 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 this feels neither easy nor peasy to me. It'll be fine. Well, who's It'll, your best boy? It's even lemon squeezy. My best boy. Not lo- you. That's for sure. They're local Barnes and Noble. In our in our commercial, we're doing our seventh episode. ad. <laughs> we're doing. <laughs> I went to Barnes and Noble mm-hmm. and had a great time, as I always do. Oh, I'm sure you did. Shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you walk in, is that just me? It's yeah. I know what you mean. That's yeah. like a common, like known thing that Barnes and Noble has a radioactive reactor just that makes you shit yourself. Shrinks your small intestine immediately. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went to Barnes and Noble, hopped in my Discord, and I was like, "Look, I'm at Barnes and Noble." 
I'll be here. You're for like, where's two where, hours. where the kittens at? Yeah, where yo, where the kittens be? You did a meet and greet at your local no, Barnes and no, Noble. Oh didn't. my god, I, was I didn't know what you were talking about. And I now was I'm, gonna say that's so now I'm disgusted cringe. that you <laughs> refer to my audience as kittens. You psycho. <laughs> and you're like, I went to Barnes and Noble and hopped in my Discord. Yeah, I was like, yo, I'm lonely. Get <laughs> oh, over here. Oh my um, god. No, I was like, I hopped in my Discord and I was like what are some manga that are like better than the anime? Like, don't give me manga that I'm just going to watch. Cause some people were like, get the I, full metal alchemist manga. And I was like, well, I'm going to watch the anime. The anime is fine. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch that. Like, I don't want to do chainsaw man just cause I just got through the first season. I don't want to retread and such. Um, I'm probably going to read chainsaw man, but yeah. And I was also just looking for like, like, I'll probably read Chainsaw Man. But yeah. I was looking for something new, you know? That being said, MHA, I just finished MHA a couple months ago. Well, not finished, caught up. Um, and manga? It, yeah, and yeah. it's kind of the first manga I've ever, like, completed, and then, like, the anime's been going on. And, like, reading the manga lessens my will to want to watch the anime exactly. by so much. Exactly, yeah, like... I'm like, I know what's happening. Like, I know, like, I'm like, oh, that happened in the manga. Oh, that... And just, yeah. like, I'm like, oh, I'm bored. I think it's, I think it's, a, like, time is a factor, too, though. Because I know a lot of people are like... I want to read the manga or like if I read the manga and it gets adapted, I'm mm -hmm. still excited for the anime because I want to see those fights like fully animated. Yeah, that's why I'm still excited but, for JJK. Right. But I think it's like if you if I, I just watched like Chainsaw Man season one, if I dove back into the manga like mm -hmm. chapter one. I'd be like, let's just, like, I know. I'll I know skip, what this is. I always is. skip yeah. to where the anime is left off. Right. I think, like, I need, like, a gap. Like, if I read what season two of Chainsaw Man would be right now, mm -hmm. by the time season two comes out, I, like, that's enough time. Yeah. That I could enjoy. You it. have, like, a year and a half. It's Mappa. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be a while. But anyway, I, uh, so I asked for some manga recommendations, some stuff I haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. Biggest downfall of Barnes & Noble don't have a lot of volume ones. No, oh so God. It was I mean, that's any that's any bookstore. Yeah. That sucks. That's so. It dumb. took me so long to find Berserk, uh, yeah. the hardcover version. We uh, had to go to the the con. We had to go to the con. That, like, that was Comic the con. first time I'd ever seen it, like out in the wild. Yeah, but um, so I wanted to get Fire Punch, which is by the guy who did uh, Chainsaw Man. No, you don't. No, no, you don't. It looks cool. It's oh damn. It, no, no, no. It's very good. It's just. Oh. I like imagine waterboarding yourself with a book. That's what fire. It's just pain. That gives me nothing. Like the whole like imagine death. Right. How much that affected you? It's Thanks, been please a bleep it while. Out. What are you doing? It's been a while. <laughs> I if you're not caught up by now, figure it out. I, I have wow. no sympathy for it. It's been go over. On. Anyway, go on. Probably like six months ago. Go on. Okay. Imagine six months ago. It was like two months ago. Was it not six months ago? It was like two months. Time is a construct. I haven't even been in LA for six months. It's been four months. At least. Anyway. At least. Go um, on. So imagine that death. Amplify that pain mm -hmm. um, and then just drag it out over the course of an entire manga. Dog, I'm watching Banana Fish right now. It's, That's the shit I do. Okay, but Banana Fish is like, aw, ow. This is, <laughs> this is, Fuck. Whoa. No! Oh, oh, God. oh God! The entire time. All I see is views, baby. I guess. I'm, I, I'm in it. I'm in it for the Kazash. That's me, Danny Kazash. But what are you gonna live react to a manga panel? Maybe. I'm an innovator. I get. Are you just gonna read it? Like it's out gonna loud? be a lot of me being like, what? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you Yo, try and do what I fire. do? fire. I'm sorry. How I could, dare you? I could never step into your shoes. Wow. Ever. Just what you do is nuanced and complicated. 100%. It is. There's a, there's a reason you're the only person who does it. Yeah, that's it's, me. It's a small, very niche field. Listen, your audience already uh, doesn't like me on this podcast. <laughs> I don't need you coming at me. I love going into the comments of these videos uh, and being like, and seeing comments being like, man, that guy Nick's with sure is furry. <laughs> I saw that one. That was fucked. Furry? Like, like Harry. Like you have a beard. Like Harry. <laughs> I you do okay, listen, I have as well, much arm hair like as you. Because you're like a fucking baby's I baton. I shave my arms. Yeah, you have to. Oh, I'm sorry. You spend six thousand dollars on tattoos. You gotta you gotta show them off. Man of the people. I don't well, oh, this has been over the course of six years. Yeah. I bet you most of our followers have 
take your time. I probably keep in not. mind this is an audible medium. We Close can't have to that amount of tattoos. Probably not. Um, I, yeah, you're right. You know, no, we, we I, I, I need to get in touch with my roots. I just love seeing the comments that are like. Like, why did Nick bring on a dude who doesn't watch anime to this podcast? You do. <laughs> you do. do. You're a fantastic foil to me. Yeah. You're also one of the only people I think is as funny as me. Oh. Yeah. Well. I, there's times. There's times. Yeah. I'm going to get real here with the, with the podcast. I've never audience. seen a humble there's, compliment. There's times where I'm like, hey. Like, I, I've, I've talked to Dorothy. I'm like, I think Danny might be funnier than me. It scares me. And then, you, yeah, you lay in bed, like, slow pushing on your face. And you're like, yeah. Never mind. Fucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> you're fast though. There's like your wit is so fast. And I think it's because you were small. And you oh, had shit. to here we go. You, you had, go to, I was gonna you had say, to flip it on the bullies. Yeah, don't, don't fucking <laughs> stroke my ego too much here. And I think it's because you're a little One baby hand. bitch boy. You're a like, fucking pussy. That Toph will never acknowledge. <laughs> you coward. Okay, flashback yeah. episode. Yeah. Um fucking you don't have any news? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh -huh. You, let me, my flashback episode, because uh -huh. I don't really have news. Gotcha. I'm going to just finish my Barnes & Noble trip. Okay. Because I got three, <laughs> I got three anime. Do you want one of my newses? Yeah, sure. This is going to be awful. Oh, I did know that. Yeah. Uh, beep, 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 just extra, uh, extra, uh, extra, you read extra. all about it. We've got a sickly boy with newspapers it, here, $5. Yeah. Read all about it, Viz is putting all of their big anime on a uh, motherfucking YouTube. For free! For free! For free! I know some of them that are on there. They're, it's but I Sailor wanna make Moon. sure you know them. Yeah. It's, yeah, <laughs> I, I have the list here, yeah. uh, it's just encrypted. Yeah. It's Sailor Moon, Naruto, uh, Hunter Hunter, and a bunch of other big ones. Yeah, they're... Anyway, go on. There, so, were, there were some that I was like, so that's surprising. Th like Hunter Hunter, Naruto, yeah. all of that for free yeah. now being uploaded onto YouTube, which is crazy. Yeah, that is awesome. But the thing is, it's a huge signal. Yeah. Like it's a, like Viz is kind of being crazy and innovative, like innovative here because not only like Viz realizes, and I think more anime like like sites need to realize this that the majority of anime is being pirated. I would say fifty percent of anime consumed is pirated. Yeah. Um. And that's because it's free and it's yeah. easy to get. There's there's a bunch. I'm not going to go into the websites right now because we have standing relationships with Viz and Bandai. Um, we. Uh, 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 we are, you're go an on. extension of I. Go on. Um, and so, but like there's so many websites and they're good. And honestly, mm. they're usually better than the thing like Crunchyroll and other places because they not only have the sub, they have the dub. They have the, the, the episodes as they come out. There's no paywalls, anything. Sure, like you might get a virus. Sure, there's hentai ads on the side. That's all well and good but like i think viz is realizing this is getting pirated how about we give it out for free but it's not yeah for free we can monetize it's yeah. not for free yeah but this thing this this is youtube channel is monetized it's yeah. been monetized like no it's smart every episode they put out millions of views yeah you put Hundred. out fucking what three to six hundred episodes of naruto like each one like work you've already done yeah like just dump all of naruto all of hunter hunter 750 episodes like of hunter genuinely hunter. millions uh, of uh, dollars like, like, like way more than mil if every episode put out in in naruto got a million views that's a hundred thousand dollars an episode yeah times 750 750 yeah 750 million three quarters of billion dollars if every episode of naruto got a million views which is not crazy by any means but like, I, I think you can go into i think you can look how many times something has been viewed in something like country or something like that what's crazy to me is what this means for the, like the people that have standing relationships with this like Crunchyroll and yeah. Funimation. I know. Well, I wonder what those deals are like. Like, I wonder if it is more profitable to just rake in the YouTube monetization Yeah. because it's not like they're making money off each view. Well, maybe on TV, if they air them on TV, but yeah, I don't I'm even sure know that, how that works. Anymore. No. Yeah. There's definitely but a like, price. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know what, like how much you get for like selling an anime to Crunchyroll. Probably not. I, I, well, I, I can imagine that Naruto would move for close to yeah, probably no three lot, quarters yeah. of a billion dollars. But like if Naruto was still accessible on Crunchyroll and Funimation yeah. and YouTube, yeah. why would anybody go else, like elsewhere? Yeah. And obviously like you're not going to drop your Crunchyroll or Funimation like thing just because a couple of the biggest anime that Viz holds are now on YouTube. Yeah. But like what if other people start doing that? Yeah. What if what if what if we just start releasing YouTube like like anime straight to YouTube for free? Right. Well, and it's not on YouTube TV. 
It's it's just YouTube. Yeah. It's just completely free. I mean, YouTube TV is cool. You know, it's basically cable. It's not cool. It sucks. I love YouTube TV. I think YouTube TV is so stupid. I also don't pay for YouTube TV. I that have, helps. I have a friend's YouTube TV. Yeah, what the fuck? And it's great. I That's have all, the worst part of YouTube the, TV they is have paying the, for They it. have the good package. They have well, all the sports. Nick, I love you. His, his name is also Nick. Right. If he's listening. I love you. Thank you I for thought, letting well, me use Well, then why'd you just look into a mirror and say, Nick, I love you? I, God, that was can't. weird. I, that's where he would be. This is an eye yeah, contact there's moment. There's just a big mirror right here. There, I, well, that would be nice. That would be super nice. I think we should know exactly what we look like, even though I see myself there and there. We need a third camera is what we need. I don't need to see myself any more than I'm already forced to. I think we need a third camera. <laughs> Maybe maybe want to just get some different angles behind the head, maybe. Oh like yeah, the top a, down. a nice behind the head. As yeah, you can see my, my yeah my bulge. Yeah, you can see as I begin as to bulge. Yeah. yeah like, so that is huge news, signaling yeah. maybe a new generation of anime watchers. Um, massive for the companies that make those anime. Because why wouldn't you? Why yeah. wouldn't you maximize how much money you're making? Um, crazy that I think it's I think it's gonna bring in a lot of new fans. Yeah. To anime, which as well. is like the biggest thing. Like that's what's important. Like. For us. For us. For money. <laughs> For us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, Listen, everyone's like, I. every time I have a conversation with my family, they're like, oh, wow, is that sustainable what you're doing? And I'm like, yeah, it's actually getting bigger every year. Like anime is, anime is becoming so much more accessible and so much yeah. more widely accepted. Like having it on YouTube, like now, like I don't have to log into Crunchyroll. Like I can just be watching like Danny react to Uncle Iroh's naked body. And then on the right side, little panels like Naruto episode 12 yeah, I'm going back to yeah. the land of waves. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about accessibility. Like yeah. if it weren't for Toonami and shit, like our generation would wouldn't not have, have had wouldn't it. know about like anime. If it wasn't for Adult Swim and Toonami, yeah. I would not be here. And you know, that's true. Like I don't know dick about other countries anything. You know what I mean? Like I don't know anything about like French animation or something like that. And I know anime is like bigger than other countries. All I know like is the animation. French made that cuties movie and that was the last time I tapped into any any French contact. I'm sure they made the little prince also, which I think is good. No idea what that what Anyway. That, what does that even mean? It's like a little I don't know, it's a Netflix thing that's supposed to be good. But I just I mean seen it. I just mean like I know about anime because of Toonami, like because it was access, uh, accessible mm -hmm. to us as children on cable. I guess. Like, meanwhile, I'm sure there's, like, other... Like, there are a ton of great, like, Korean movies, for example. Oh, like, yeah. That, oh, I was just watching that, Physical 100? Oh, yeah. Wow, do I have body dysmorphia. But the, Holy <laughs> shit, those people are hot. My God. But there's, like, shit like that that I never would know about if I weren't, like, in the business of making, like content based mm -hmm. on media from other countries listen if you're not tapped into like korean content you are missing out yeah. singles inferno is the best dating show on earth right now you're because tapped into the weirdest korean content though what i am tapped into all korean content you love, first you off. love like romance i like, love, love k-dramas yeah. <laughs> i love k-dramas so feral. goddamn much you're a feral man me and dorothy recently watched startup um crash landing on you is one of my favorite tv shows ever because here's my thing about a k-drama every episode an hour to an hour and a half right. and they'll do like 24 episodes it is so much content crash landing on you i think is 20 i think it's 20 episodes each is an hour and a half long god it's so long and it, it's just it's good the whole way and then i just watched physical 100 and that is a show that could only be made in korea do you know what physical 100 is mm -mm. it's a show about 20 people 100 people with different physiques coming to compete to find what the best physique is. It's like American Ninja Warrior, uh, but way cooler and Korean. Poor 99% of the people who participate in that. Well, yeah. So that's Poor the thing. all the winners. Exactly. <laughs> like, so and the thing is like, and it's like all, all these, the losers, it's like rather. these power lifters and like, like rock climbers, like people from all different kinds of backgrounds competing in a bunch of different physical things to see like who's the best physique. Like what's the most adaptable physique and it's just ripped koreans and right. they're just and they're just doing shit that like no one could ever possibly do like they're the first the first thing they have to do is hang on a bar like a like a like a like a chin-up bar and right. they have to and there was a guy that hangs on a chin-up bar for 18 minutes and there's a bunch of people in the comments like oh i could do that i could do that i could do that. i couldn't hang on a chin-up bar for two minutes that was my initial reaction 18 you're like 18 minutes how hard could it, it sounds be? little i thought you were gonna say days no i thought they were feeding them all do you know how hard it is to hang on I'm a sure chin-up bar very difficult, very difficult. Yeah. and then there was there was these guys they did like the the like uh an atlas challenge where they took a 50 kilogram ball uh which is 110 pounds and they held it they have to hold it on their shoulders they did it for two hours damn yeah 
And I'm like, it's, it's absolutely insane. So like, I, but watching it, I'm like, damn. My body ain't shit. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It I could only ever get made in Korea because like they are like very obsessed with the beauty standard. And like it's a it's a show being like, what's the best body? You know? That's tough. Like it's that's it's, a tough sell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But oh my god, is it a great show? How did we get here? What is your news? <laughs> oh, my news is um the time I got reincarnated as a slime part three is got, uh, slated for spring 2024. God, I can't fucking escape that anime. Why? It's, I it's, get it that, is the only good isekai. I get that recommended to me. And SAO. So much. And I remember being like, oh, like that's a silly title. That'll go away. It just doesn't. It's very good. I'm so sick of being told of this title. As far as political and isekai anime goes, currently I believe it's the gold standard. What politics? So the little slime boy, Rimuru, gets teleported into this world and it's kind of bestial and there's like existing kingdoms. It's medieval. And so he's trying to start his new kingdom, the kingdom of like monsters, uh, because like he's a monster and he's trying right. to get other monsters. So it's like a him making like standing connections with these like, the like, like making connections with these existing companies and existing like countries. Uh, and then just like acting as a political liaison for his, his, his nation of monsters. And then there's wars. And it's really good. Is it not like just a harem? Thing? No, wow. there. Well, there's. Oh, yeah. here we go. Well, here we I, go. I, 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 it's not as bad. Yeah. There's, oh, it's not as, as bad. As it stands, as it stands, there's two. I have statues. Oh, he's looking for his statues. I, there's two. Is it not this big bitch? Um, what? Is it not this big bitch? Who's this chick? This? Yeah. Sorry. Go on. Oh. Go on. No. Is this Sao. Go on. No, we're not going past it. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'll give you three guesses. Sword Art Online. That wrong. Is that Jessica Online of Sword Art Online? Jessica Online. Yeah, yeah, the, the love interest. Yeah, the well known, the well known yeah. protagonist. It's not Sword Art Online. Not Sword Art Online. Um. Okay. She looks like she's like, the main character of her show. Then I do, is it Claymore? Not a bad, not really? a bad guess. Um. I've been in. Uh, okay. It looks. It's an early two thousand. Let me do some deduction. Mm -hmm. It looks like an early two thousands. Yep. Two nineties maybe, but you already said yep. Early 2000s. Yep. No, you're, you're right. It was early 2000s. Cl Claymore's close. Incredibly popular. Incredibly popular? Like, massively popular. No chance. One of the greatest animes ever created. Set the standard for animation. One of the best sound designs in anime. <laughs> Still running the most confusing universe on Earth. She's reincarnated like six times. Give me one more hint. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it's, about, it's about magicians summoning past heroes. Fairy tale. That was your third guess. Yeah. Fate! Oh, I don't know dick about fate. This is fucking Ulteria Pendragon! I don't know anything about fate. Oh my I God. I know the animation's apparently like nuts. It's a UFO table. It is. It is yeah. you you, how, do, how do we say that? You foughtable? You Uf foughtable. I, I just say UFO table. Uh, yeah, <laughs> UFO table's not terrible. You don't know fate? No. I've also been told to watch it. but it's Zero, like a, stay it's night, a, unlimited blade works? That's why I don't know fate. There's a billion fucking things. There's only it's three. Re there's the three you need to watch. watch. Gundam. No, there's three you need to watch. That's it. You need to watch Zero. I I forget the order. Stay out. Oh, Gabe, I'm sorry. Gabe I'm sorry. Is it complicated? Giga has a video on it. Okay. The 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 Issei verse. I think is the Issei verse is very complicated. Zero. So Fate Zero. Fate Stay Night. Fate Unlimited Blade Works. That's all you need to see. Is it? It's good. Like it's story wise, or is it just incredible. animation? Good? Incredible. It's a yes. It's it was the first. It was the first magician summoning past heroes idea. It's been done a million times now. Now and they recently did a new season. Uh, that was uh called very complicated. Uh, Grand Babylonia, I think, and it's about a girl with a shield. I actually almost bought a statue of her. Um, also incredible. There's also light novels and video games. Uh, there's hentai games. It was actually based off a hentai game originally. Uh, and then, then I don't want to watch. No, 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 <laughs> no, you are, you are a seasoned anime fan. That should not be your line in the <laughs> sand. What are you talking about? It's a fucking hentai anime. No, no it's not a hentai anime. It's, it was based off of one originally. Uh, -huh. so it's like the, the 50 shades of gray. No, of no, anime. there's no, there's no, there's no We're sex. Starting as a Twilight there's a little fiction. sex. There's only sex. There's no a sex. No. There's a little sex. It's hentai. <laughs> not hentai. There's only, there's only sex because they, it's implied they have sex to okay. share mana and that's it. Oh, so it's like Steven Universe? It only, what happened? It's a child. They're fusion. They do fusion dances and it's like implied sex. I haven't seen Steven Universe. 
this. That's what it is. They I fuse feel like and they fuck. I feel like, ironically, fate, you not seeing fate and me not seeing Steven Universe's are equally crucifiable, like, opinions or only like only i'll get the hate well the thing is well i'm the only one who's that's get fair the hate but amongst that. your fan base i feel like steven universe is my fan base's fate let us know hashtag team nick or team danny which actually good you're welcome good segment uh good good little segue. segue here um because did we fully cover my yeah i guess i yeah i guess yeah i don't even remember reincarnated as slime oh, 2024 it's spring yeah it's coming back in 2024 so uh, we now have YouTube memberships, and the reason we're talking about Team Danny and Team Nick is because our YouTube memberships come into tiers. Hashtag Team Danny or hashtag Team Nick. And Mine's more expensive because which Nick wants I, to sabotage I was me. working towards that, Daniel. So the reason that we're setting up YouTube memberships uh, is, one, because it's a great way for you to show support for the podcast and all that. Allows us to buy spiffier equipment. Uh, maybe get a producer, um, maybe get somebody to book our appointments for us to find like people to interview, so, something like that. You know, like make this look nice. Make I think this... our next thing is a nice uh, wide angle. Wide camera. angle would be that, nice. That's my big. It's hard to find a nice wide angle, actually. But yeah, that is a hundred dollar camera. That is that is recording our wide angle. We'll get something nice. And you can tell. Um, so the reason that we're getting memberships uh, is mostly because we want to live stream this podcast. Uh, and it won't be like a, a, a live stream where it's like, uh, you know, like we're reading your questions the entire time, but we want to give people access to watch raw uncut because believe it or not, what you're getting has been manicured a little bit. It's it's actually, believe it or not, this is the best version. Uh, so I, you, we cut the whole bit where I cried during my talk. He peed again. Peed again. There I'm was a whole peeing. There was a whole. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry about this. Piss boy. Whole piss That's boy. That's why segment. I wear underwear. Yeah. Well, listen, it's why I don't have to. Soaking it in. I can, I, I can hold. <laughs> I can, I can, right, Not me, it's an, baby. It's enough piss boy segment. So we give you the raw uncut here, uh, the live stream. Uh, and then honestly, we've been thinking that our love letter segment, we could convert into asking questions from the chat. That'd be cool. So that'll be, that'll be our, and that'll make it into the podcast and the YouTube videos and all of that will be questions that we receive from the chat. Uh, so yes, uh, it's also team hashtag Nick or hashtag Danny. I was going to make them the same price. So this is why, this is why I needed a lead up to this because they were going to be the same price. Oh, uh -huh, sure. But YouTube but doesn't you allow want it all. No, the fame. YouTube doesn't allow you to have two tiers at the same price, which makes sense because they're the, the, otherwise they wouldn't be tiers. I so, so also, and then but I was it's like, like a Pokemon like Scarlet and Violet, you know, like pay for Danny, pay for Nick. Exactly, you get the, the money same, goes to the same place. Just so you know, you get but, the yeah. same benefits on either, but. You get to choose a side. Yeah, and if you don't choose a side, you die in the middle. And I figured with Danny's get, recent. Let's let's what call I do. let's call what them, did I let's do? call them stumbles. Yeah, <laughs> I figured we should make yours the more expensive. You fuck. I just also I make the, I was I was the one making them. Yeah, so. you made it. Yeah. Well, you also uh, by choosing a side you get different emotes, right? Yeah. Like yes. Team Nick gets Nick emotes. My emotes. Team Danny gets Danny. his emotes. So you can be in the chat and you can be like, oh, wow. You can like every time Danny's wow, like, look, I look haven't seen. Look at this dumb face I, I paid for. I haven't seen one of the most famous animes of all time. You can be like, pog, yeah, you can pog be like, Nicomotes. You can be like, oh, look at me. I drag my bare nutsack across every piece of furniture in my house. I, do, I, I actually. I saw you well, straddle the table. I was wearing. And I, drag your I was sack. not wearing underwear at that point, actually. So you dragged your whole sack across the table. Yes, the pre podcast. Seconds before we did this. Pre podcast is a very intimate space for both That's me and That's what you're Daniel. getting by getting live this. So, so. love letter. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? I'm never ready. You gotta warm me up. Don't warm me up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, you sent pictures of the underwear? <laughs> You didn't see? Danny! These are so beat up! There's a pole, too. Wait, I'm well, so- Well, yeah, I have sex in them. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these so worn out? Because I, I use them for sex. Is this the front or the back? Uh, which one? This! That's the front! So it's, they put the, the two bullets. One, just they so put the know. two bullets where your balls are. Yeah, and the blood all over the crotch. So these are our so audience fucking bad. Our audience has already seen them because um, we did a poll, and I think people voted for the Itachi ones. The let's the see, SpongeBob. The oh wait, no, with the Itachi ones. Yeah, there's Itachi ones. Of course, our community voted for the Itachi ones. Let me just make sure. Also, I love that Cody asked for one pog face, and Danny sent 
I sent a bunch of faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pog faces. Can we get some love letters? Um, yes, but just so you know, Hidden Briefs uh, did win. Wow. Bob I'm, Ross was second. I'm so happy. Bob Ross was second. Yeah. Wow. Um, would you like to go first? I'm going to go first. Okay. Uh, Nate Payne asks, mm-hmm. which historic figure do you think deserves God, an damn, anime? I was going to take. Yeah, it's an easy one. Which historic figure deserves an anime? Listen. Does it have to be Japanese? No. All, all historic figures. All history. Well, I just think a George Washington anime would be weird. I have one. Okay. Take away all political views because I don't know anything about their platform. Donald Trump anime. No. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing about them politically. Uh-huh. I would binge the hell out of a Teddy Roosevelt anime. Here's why. That do you, would be sick. Do you know the story? Again, about I don't know what his views were. him riding a moose? Were. He was also There's a that. rough rider. There's he was that. also the only president with tattoos. Do you know the bit? where he was giving a speech and then he got shot mid speech finished the speech and then sought medical attention and lived are you are you thinking andrew jackson no teddy roosevelt that was actually teddy roosevelt teddy roosevelt god damn badass i would watch all every episode just to see that season finale just to see teddy pull the bullet from his for, or spit it out. Mm-hmm. Get shot in the chest, spit it out. Yeah. Finish whatever the hell he was talking about. That, and the, the moose photo, iconic. He yeah, also he's had his, riding his moose? He had a fam- He had his family crest tattooed on his chest. He's the only tattooed president ever. Yeah, he uh, like he pulls an axe from it with yeah. a crest as the just head. Like, just like charges the guy in the crowd. Teddy Roosevelt's like the answer. <sighs> it's a good... That's, I just like... America core anime is weird to me. But okay, like, pick a different country. Every good, every good Japanese historical figure, like Oda Nobunaga has uh, an anime where he is a big-breasted anime woman. Uh, yep, very Poor much man. I, 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 It made him look kind of badass. Yeah. Also, like, kind of cool. Vagabonds based on a real man. Yep. It's based off the guy who always loses. Uh, the samurai... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitsushi uh, or something. Yep, yeah, he's in... I think he's in uh, Record of Ragnarok. Also, mm-hmm. every historical figure has been in Record yeah. of Ragnarok. Oh, God. Um, I don't know. If we're going to do America Corps, Chris Kyle? The guy with like 150... Like, the America, American Sniper or whatever yeah, his American name was? American Sniper? You want an American Sniper anime? No, I just think they could make it cool, you know? Like, it would be like Gun Gale Online, you know? It'd just be, it'd just be like, so. be like, this is a... And they would make it like 10-mile shots. He'd be like accounting for like the curvature <laughs> of the earth. I don't know. I was trying to think of people yeah. who've lived like interesting, cool lives. chaotic lives, yeah. you know? I feel like the fact... I don't know. I feel like it'd be weird seeing an anime like Iraq War. That would be like, odd. Yeah. Which Banana Fish already is a little. It's just on my brain. I'm sorry. I keep bringing it's it up. It's all right. It's an anime. Um, Who else, man? I saw somebody really liked the fact that I said Jesus had chakra. Abraham Lincoln would be sick. Abraham Lincoln would be pretty cool. That'd be pretty dope. It'd be like a political anime. And he'd be like, just like kicking other people in the mouth. Man, I, I can't get off presidents for some reason. I know. I, I think because I opened with George Washington. Yeah. And then I led with Teddy Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. I'm stuck on presidents. If we can come with some. Oh, 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 um, oh. Who's the guy? Mongolian dude. Oh, Kangas Khan? Kangas Khan. Genghis Khan, yeah. Genghis Khan, Kangas Khan, the I know, Pokemon. I fucked it up. I yeah. fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> Genghis Khan would be a cool one. Yeah. I mean, bad guy. Bad We're, guy, but like, you know, so are most anime protagonists. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like, that would, that that'd would be, be pretty cool. I think that'd final be like a answer, Castlevania. Final answer, Genghis Khan. Gotcha. Nice. I can't think of a single other goddamn person who lived in history. Yeah. <laughs> That's like worth an anime. Okay, I'll do mine then. Do yours. Uh, who's your favorite anime villain of all time and why? Oh. Mike B asks. Mike B, good. You're <laughs> crediting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my favorite anime villain of all time, Marowen. Uh, Marowen from Hunter Hunter. Gotcha. I'm right here tattooed on me uh i think marowem is a really interesting character uh because he is supposed to act as a foil to gone in the chimera antarch uh he is a being that's born as a monster and slowly becomes a human through interactions with humans uh which is interesting because he has a nen synthesis ability that allows him to take on the nen abilities of those he consumes um and so as he consumes more and more human flesh and he uh meets with Komogi, the person uh the person he dies with he becomes more and more of a human as, as time goes on and gone during this arc acts as his foil as a human who slowly becomes a monster throughout the arc uh and i think that dichotomy between those two is incredible i just love the way Marom is is written i think he's a really good example of the fact that the goal of a villain doesn't necessarily justify the means of the villain uh because what he wants to do is 
he wants to create utopia. Yeah. Uh, but he wants to create utopia by like slaughtering a large amount of like humanity. Right. Um, so Tough. yeah, exactly. Tough Not, sell. Usually genocide. Wrong idea. So final answer, Marowen. Gotcha. I, I would have input if I had watched Hunter Hunter. I, uh, hurts me to this day. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm trying to think and I do have an answer, mm-hmm. but like I'm going through like all of the like anime with villains, right? Like mm-hmm. Skate the Infinity, Adam's pretty good. I guess. But that seems too predictable, so I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, my hero's got some good ones. Not Shigaraki. Overhaul is whatever. So maybe not that. You wouldn't say... I Would Would you say Shigaraki is my hero's best villain? No. I, I maybe have to rewatch Stain's arc. I remember Stain's pretty good. It's either... It is... It's either Stain or one... Uh, or Awful One. I like Stain because he's got like... There's whispers of Stain way after he got defeated. He's actually too. playing like, a crucial part in where the anime is currently. To this oh, day. very yeah, cool. Yeah. I, I just like that they keep bringing him up. Yeah. Like, that's cool that he had, like, an, a lasting impact on all these villains. Hero killer, like, baby. I mean, he killed, cool. he killed a lot of heroes. Yeah, yeah. Um. So there's that. I think Demon Slayer, one of my favorite animes, fine villains so far. At least... I, Right? Like nothing ah. nothing noticeable. Yeah, nothing Demon Slayer, notable. I think if anything, Demon Slayer lacks hateable, like hateable yeah. consistent villains. I think Akaza is probably the best bad guy from yeah. Demon Slayer. Um but we haven't seen a ton Ko- of him yeah. like outside of manga. Kokushibu is cool too. He's really cool. So my answer, I think, is Gara. From when he was Interesting. a villain. Okay. I love like that's like peak original Naruto for me. Oh, is yeah. the Gara arc. Oh my god, the Konoha yeah. Crush arc is one of the best arcs in yeah. Naruto. Really cool, like, I love a good, like, fantasy terrorist. Like, I love a good, like, this fun event is happening, yeah. and then some, like, an, an explosion goes on, or, like, something happens. Yeah. And then it turns this event into, like, a grand scale, like, insane Just thing. Just blowout battle. Yeah, I love that it happens mid tuning exams. Mm-hmm. And then iconic voice lines, the My Blood. Yeah. In cry- Great scene. Yeah. yeah. Like Sasuke and him in the tuning example, him yeah. losing control. The first time we see a fully realized in Cherokee. Yeah. Uh, and then like obviously Naruto talk no jutsuing him. The mm-hmm. battle between Kurama and Shukaku. Incredible. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good choice. Great, great backstory. Are you pandering? No, I'm are not. You, are you pandering? If I want to pander, I'd, I'd do Adam from Skate because that, I know I got I Okay, got I guess here. that's pandering the other direction, yeah. but yeah. No, no chance. Guard's just good. And like I said, like, I, I guess I just haven't seen, like, a good, good villain that's, like, last... Like, I think Naruto's got the best ones out of I've seen. Like, Itachi. Oh, yeah. I like Itachi. Like, yeah. very... like Noted bad guy, Itachi. Noted bad man. Just <laughs> yeah. terrible human being all the way through. Don't look it directly don't, don't look over my it. shoulder. <laughs> yeah. um, but not a lot of villains, and I'm not deep enough into One Piece to get their staying power, but not a lot of villains... My sec, my second choice. My Naruto has better villains than One Piece, and, but I haven't gotten. Oh, it, it sounds stupid, but I haven't gotten to like the, gotten there, I'm yeah. 620 episodes in. I haven't gotten to the good villains. Well, that's what I mean. Like Chainsaw Man, great. No real lasting villain that I've gotten to. I'm, there's one that I've gotten. Yeah, to. There, yeah. We're not gonna. Yeah, we won't. Um, I've and, learned. I've done but, my spoil for the day. Yeah, yeah. Good, but like, yeah. Same with my hero. Like. Cool villains of their time, but, like, nothing that I'm like, man, like, I gotta see this guy die. Yeah. Second, my runner-up, Frieza. Oh, Frieza's a great Frieza's guy. Frieza's great. OG Frieza. I don't like Just anything about Super, but, like, Frieza's great. Great, like... Frieza's still the worst in Super. I know, but, yeah. like, Frieza was just great in, like... I get that, like, it's kind of a meme, all of his final forms or whatever. But, mm-hmm. like, what a great sense of, like, okay, like... He just went from form one to form two. Yeah. We almost got him. Fuck, there's a third. He gets Fuck, smaller. Fuck, there's a fourth. Yeah. yeah. He's just yeah. getting smaller. And I like that he gets more compact, but stronger. Mm-hmm. And like, Boo is kind of the It's same. always the same. Yeah, it yeah. always works that way. I like that idea. Like, and a lot of You're like, yeah, hell yeah, small that. people yeah. represent. Yeah. Finally. Finally, someone me. understands my strength. But I like the idea that like, and it's the same with, and I'll wrap this up, mm-hmm. but like Gundam, I got into like a uh, comments situation with this where like i've been on tiktok i've been going over over different gundams Mm -hmm. and people will be like i love this gundam because it's huge and like you did take mine i did take yours gotcha uh i like people will be like i love this gundam because it's huge and bulky and has all these guns yeah i've always loved all right gundraman gundraman's final evolution chill out yeah exactly i love the idea of something like 
sleek and streamlined being the most powerful version of it. Like, there's something so That's like, badass about that. The Death Scythe Gundam. Sleek. Yeah. Got a scythe. Nothing over the top. Yeah. Best like, Gundam. Something that can, like, where mobility is, like, the dangerous bit about yeah. it. Yeah. That being said, I also love the I love the Gundam with the hook and the shield. I'm completely forgetting what his name is. The hook, shield, and shotgun. I love that Gundam. I also know. It, you're describing Roadhog from Overwatch. Yeah. It, yeah. Like, Roadhog does have a Gundam, yeah. though. Uh, and I absolutely love him. Gundam is a Gundam Evolution came out like two weeks before Overwatch 2, which was super unfortunate because it's basically Overwatch. It's so much People fun. like it a lot. It's so much goddamn fun. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's really hard. fun. It's very hard. It's hard as fuck. Yeah, I played like the first couple of days and it was wild yeah. out there. All right, so that's that, all we got. That's all she wrote. Do you have anything more to say about peeing in front of Toph? Um, I will quickly wrap up uh, that the three manga I got from Barnes & Noble were uh, Dead Man Wonderland, Drifting Dragons, and the girl on the other side. Dead Man Wonderland is good. That's what I hear. It's a fun premise. It's a it, sick premise. It's a, it's a shake up on a, on a, like a relatively original premise. Uh, don't know the other two. Yeah. Drifting Dragons is like whalers, but in the sky and they hunt dragons. Wait, how are you doing on the Chinese anime? Um, Just finished Heaven's Official Blessing. You finished it? Finished it. One out of ten. Seven. So that's disappointing. It's good. It's good, but it's got flaws. It's very clearly based on a novel. Like there's a lot of, or like multiple, there's like tons of novels. Like there's just a lot of talking. They're, they're light novels. Okay. There's a lot of exposition and a uh, lot of exposition that like fans will be like, no, like it, you know, it makes sense in the book or like it'll come up later, but it's a ton of like backs, like flashbacks. It's okay. like the worst kind of Naruto, like mm -hmm. shit where people are giving flashbacks on characters they haven't met. And so it's like, why do I care? So if you, you, you're saying that the anime acts as an extension of the book? Well, like, no, it's like, so there's that. There's too much exposition and the side, like, none of the characters are really, like, that fleshed out. Like, there's no character that I'm like, yeah, like, this dude, like, I want a tattoo of him or, like, yeah. I want his merch. The two protagonists are cool by virtue of being protagonists. Do the two boys kiss? They don't kiss. Oh, God. A six yeah. out of ten. Yeah, six. All right, cool. Thank you to Bandai and Mega House for sponsoring today's episode. And if you guys want super cool statues like these ones over here, go ahead and check them out. I have been Daniel, NC Hammer 23 uh, on all platforms. Daniel, who have you been? I have been uh, Danny Mata, the little bitch boy who <laughs> pulled, a, pulled a bit too early, so mm -hmm. he had to cut it, and now you've stolen it. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I do best. I steal other people's content. Yeah, but that's me, Danny Mata. I'm um, Danny Mata on most things. Uh, except for TikTok. Except for TikTok, we're on DMata 3. Just universalize. I know. I just, should. It's so, it's literally just edit profile changing. I made the horrible mistake of just making my name, my YouTube. And now we're stuck with it. I literally like, I'm, I did a whole thing. I think it was last year where I was like at the new year, Nixie comedy is gone from TikTok, And I just changed my name. Yeah. And I got a bunch of people to follow my YouTube. It was hilarious. It's a great just, idea. Just, just hurtled them in there. It was awesome. <laughs> Everyone was like, all right, bye. And I was like, ha I still got to deal with me. I do Fantastic. remember that actually. Yeah. yeah it was yeah. fun. It was really fun. So yeah. yeah um, Adios. Bye.